this hurricane, this roster. It's been Dude, both teams are going to run the, the May. Newest addition to it, or uh, the Sparker. Mm. But they've all leveled it's pretty up interesting. Now pretty I think sure something we saw a lot was that if you run the May, you kind of you want the other team not to run the May, obviously, and also you want um, you want the other team not to be very capable of running the the um, heavy spam counter comp using like the the fire, the sombra, the hanzo, this kind of stuff. Why am I not reviewing Eagle Gaming? They're the best team ever. Uh, I already, I've already looked at Eagle Gaming and decided they are the best team ever. So, you know, I'm looking at second best right now. Did you notice what we did at Choke? Even by their own teams? Or this shit so where you go... I, think I don't fucking know. It's been coordinated enough. Soon it's been the Your sick rollout. It, of course, with Sparker. But they've all Numlock's got better rollouts in Overwatch than he does in TF2. I'll say that for fucking... For free. I'll say that for free. Leveled out now, and I'm pretty sure the cohesion is right, going let's to take be a look. there when they come into a very much unified Gigante. Indeed. Now, pretty sure again on the point at the moment, just posturing for the time being. This is where you can launch a great wall. For the time being, you see Team Gigante trying to bait it out a little bit. Bubbles are now dying for Gigante, so they're going to wait for those to come back online. But Davin, it is always interesting watching Havi Cole because he flexes more. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, Milky Man. That's, uh, phew. It will do. <laughs> what a way to start. Fuck me. All right. <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> Wind that one back. Oh, boy. So, obviously, the May is to isolate a target, normally the Ryan, and you try and find the kill. How long does the wall last for compared to Ice Block? They break Milky Man out. Yeah, but they've already given up point Zappers control taking a bunch of damage. They, took a they take point control. Hurricane play more aggressive to there to be able to assert themselves in the point. The I think they got there quicker as well. Okay. Gigante are building their support odds earlier. What the fuck happened there? Zappers are literally getting isolated by the wall. Yeah. Oh, not visibility, sorry, Dan. Yeah. They got caught out by the wall. It. It's... It's... Okay. It gets a bit wild with the May walls, especially when you can't really tell who's on one side of them and who's on the other from a spectator's point of view. I don't, this isn't really what I want to focus on in this match anyway, so I'm not going to, you know, talk too much about the... the what do they call it? The froats or whatever? The frozen goats? I don't know what the fuck. What's it called? Uh, ice? Work. Snotes. But That's what people are calling it, right? Is in the favor of British Hurricane right now, so they if Angry Titans win. wins the finals, are they the second best team in Overwatch? No! Come on! People! We're not trying to decide who the best team in Overwatch is here between British Hurricane and, and Runaway. We're just trying to find out whether some of the contenders' teams are better than each other in different regions. The initiative, if they so wish, in this the point, people who think no these teams in general are better than the top owl teams, I think, are that. smoking some heavy shit. Currently, just staying on point. Now they have that control where it can be for them to decide when they want to use this wall, when they want so to. So have you stayed on the on the main? They don't want another scrappy fight. I'm gonna try and push back in. They flanked them a little bit. The wall. I don't know what the fuck happened to the wall. Zappa dies. They're throwing the grav. The grav comes in as well on the main wall. So what the fuck happened in this fight? Okay. So they split. They split here so that the May and the Rhine come this side. And the Zarya comes around here. See if they can isolate a target. But Zuppi gets a... Looks like a pretty clutch kill onto Hafikul. I don't think Hafikul was really out of position. I think he just got domed. Uh... And Zuppi immediately pops his trance as well. Inside the grav, they stay alive. The trance also gets used on the other side. Okay. I think just pretty difficult to fight that into the uh, into all of those ults that we used. Zuppi is still able to get up 60% ult at the end of that fight. You know what? Zuppi's actually really impressed me when I've been watching the Gigante games. I feel like it would be a I feel like it would be a pity if he didn't get another opportunity in owl dreamcast thank you for the resub seven months in a row oh you go right clicked unlucky unlucky son what a question the best team in overwatch is equal gaming obviously but i mean 
It's Eagle Gaming, then the Top Owl teams, then, you know, then who? Then who? Didn't you say Hurricane could beat Runaway because they beat Shoes Money Crew? <laughs> what an absolute ridiculous boil down of my argument. No, not even slightly. Not even slightly. All right. I start. Thank you for the two months as well. University of Waterloo is better than Eagle Gaming. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hey, Giggs of Giggs. All right, so Hurricane are pushing back in. They've chosen to stick with the Blizzard. They've got no support ults to be able to deal with it or grav. So, British Hurricane should be in a good position to be able to retake this. And then the ults are kind of in the situation where they, they could hold on for a long time as well. Right. Wait for the Discord orb to come off. See if they can get behind them. That's nice. A little speed boost around the back catches all of them. They're staying forwards to try and support Milky Man. So he speed boots around the side. That's really smart. That's nice. They didn't have to use the sound barrier either. They just won everything off that blizzard. But that's that's smart. They knew that there was no support that was available. Didn't have to over invest in that fight. And I like the I like the main play there. A wonderful wall there that you can just walk around and then just closes the distance without too much aggression onto him and you can drop down that wall. Make it look like you're on for Milky Man. Speed boost around the side. That was sick. Okay. So Giganti are now pushing in with double support ult. British Hurricane might get their second support ult up during the fight if Bokken manages to do enough damage. But uh, I'm kind of surprised that Zappis has stayed on the May, honestly. Am I? I don't know. Is that I don't know enough about the direct May v fucking May matchup on this. I, uh, this is very rare, actually, that you see both teams use the May. At least in uh, the games I... What what was I watching where I saw a bunch of teams do this? It can't have been Owl. Nobody was playing this in Owl. Actually, no. Outlaws used to play this in Owl. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe I just don't know enough about the whether it's better to play the May or just play the, the Diva here. I don't know. And they have to make it work because if they don't, it seems a bit surprising to me that Zappa like stays Giganti on the on the main. But push. if they can sway the momentum in their favor, however, it starts. I'm not going to make a judgment either way. I haven't watched enough of the maybe made to yeah, be able so to really know. To I'm sure they've scrimmed it and line. believe that so this is the best way of being able to do it. Okay, so slow approach. They're choking, making sure that they keep eyes on where everybody is. They wall, lump around the side, get grabbed, it gets trance, counter grab, counter trance. The shatter is good, but the counter shatter is also good. And sound barriers also get traded. So Bokken was able to get up to his. Wait, how does how does this fight end up? So a lot of these ults just get, get kind of negated, right? So they don't really have a neutral fight here. Which is a little weird, but it's, I think it's a result of the uh, of the the wall. So the wall goes down, doesn't manage to isolate everybody, but creates like a tiny little choke point. The grab goes out immediately from Suna. Counter grab from Davin, so they're just kind of fucking mashing their faces into each other. Bokken manages to get his trance and uses it, which is pretty clutch from Bokken. Otherwise they would have had to invest a sound barrier, and they're kind of, you know, sound barrier is worse in the middle of a grab than a trance is. And then the shatter comes out from Milky Man, which is a good one, but he doesn't, they don't respect Numlock enough. And he counter shatters and finds two of them. Or just one of them, actually. He only finds Milky Man, right? So instead of being able to capitalize, Danid also pops his rally. I mean, this is just like kind of fucking crazy. But then Danid goes forwards and gets a really nice bash with his rally. And they isolate Milky Man. But it's all just kind of crazy because you've got these weird May walls in the way. But the uh, the isolation and, and Danet knowing that he can make a big play there with his rally is really what wins the fight for them after everything gets traded. By the way, the word aggress needs to be removed from people's vocabulary. It's uh, it's um you know. Attack. Aggress is so such a weird word. Aggress. Blizzard like you have aggression, but if you're forward, if you're playing offense or you're attacking, you're not aggressing onto people. That's a but that's a nice wall. So I think the pivotal moment of this round really was weirdly was this fight that Hurricane lost but they forced out a shit ton of ults.
the back. Mm, maybe not. You know what? I don't think I realized actually that Gigante yeah. used their sound barrier in the, the end of this fight. All important wall cool down. Back the way that the ults work, the, the big thing really was Lobo using his sound barrier in this fight. Shut him down. Move on to the point. Start contesting it. What happened here? Davin's found another shatter committed, but the fight's already gone in favor. Oh, yeah. I didn't even catch that at the time, but Lobo just throws out his sound barrier when there are only three up and two of them are shattered. Milky Man's gonna throw in his own round the back of a wall. I didn't realize at the time. At the time, I was like, oh, well, you know, the shadow was a bit of an overinvestment, but they, you know, it was worth it to be able to clean up the fight. I didn't even realize that Lobo threw, threw in his sound barrier. That was a, that really fucked him in terms of the ults. Okay, next round. Less maze for the rest of the match, I'm sure. Oh, no, it is a word. To aggress is a word, but it's a very archaic, um, uh, awkward sounding word and and a lot of and it's only ever used in esports and it's a uh, I don't like it took a quick fight they were able to take advantage of that small window and pick up a kill in that small amount of time which really set team Giganti back meant that getting back to that fight was very very difficult really really nice why would you stream now you're using up my valuable Game of Thrones catch up time I blitzed so Game of Thrones <laughs> <laughs> Very, very Excellent observing. Uh, but now we move over to Sanctum. This is a map that's pretty much more dominated <laughs> by the Winston because you can get around the map a lot easier. When do you really want to use the sound barrier? Is it okay to hide far away until after EMP? I mean, nobody was playing with a Sombra though. Uh, there's a ton of different times that you want to use the sound barrier. I mean, it's a defensive support all right? So you want to use it if there's a chance to, to win a fight that you wouldn't have... Uh, that you wouldn't have won otherwise. Or to save your team. It's normally used to save your team from something. In GOATS, often you have to... Use it reactively to try and get your team back into a fight. And sometimes you use it aggressively as well, but... I mean, there's a ton of different ways. Uh, there's a ton of different ways of using it. Okay, so let's... Let's go back. So... I don't understand what Gigante are doing with their composition particularly. I don't know why Sombra Tracer is being run here. I've never seen another team really use Sombra Tracer at a high level. Um... Uh, into Winston Goats. I think Winston Goats is probably just the default here, better composition. But are they just scouting and they're just going to go back? Okay, they must have suspected something else then. Zenyatta. They must have suspected the British Hurricane were running like a double sniper composition or something like that. And Team Gigante, I think they were expecting something a little bit more aggressive and more DPS heavy, so they went to the Moira. I don't know. Obviously, they have time to make the switch. I've watched every British Hurricane game, so I don't know so what they're uh, what they're used to playing on Sanctum. Position, and they've given it over to British Hurricane. You have a support alts better used to save teammates rather than engaging fights. Uh, Transcendence is definitely better used in the direct Goats v Goats matchup. Transcendence should almost always be used to uh, negate the enemy team's graviton. But if you know that you have an advantage and the other team doesn't have grav, then you can use it aggressively. Particularly if you need to take, for example, if you need to take point A or take a particularly difficult bend on an escort map and you know that the other team won't be able to defend that location again. But on, on control, if you use your transcendence aggressively to be able to win a team fight, they're just going to come in with their grav next time and, and wipe you. Um, so in general, rally is definitely better used to engage though. Rally is not really a support ultimate. It's not a defensive support ultimate. Nano is best used to peel, I think, in its current form where it heals people up. I like, I really enjoy seeing people, uh, peel with Nano. I think it's the best use of that ultimate. Um, because it allows individual players to play more aggressive and then you can use the Nano Boost appeal, but uh, it is at its core an offensive ultimate rather than, than a defensive one. So, you know, it only saves or empowers one person. So you can use it to engage as well, but I think it's better to use as peel. Beat is a bit in the middle. It depends on the context of the fight. Okay, so British Hurricane mind gamed them somehow by, I don't know, it must have been what they, what they uh, assumed British Hurricane were going to play. So now both teams are running the Winston triple time triple support, but British Hurricane had most of the positional advantage early on. I like that Dan Ed's taking aggressive positions. Jofi looking to see if he can uh, apply damage to them, but look how this fight goes out like that. Dan Ed's pretty far forward, and I like that he he uh, isn't afraid to go forward. He's not he's not overextending, but he's getting value out of his break. They do a lot of damage to Milky Man, he's forced Milky to jump away, and then they kill Davin because now that the front line isn't really forward with Davin, he uh he's you know, he's vulnerable. 
visility as well is a little more passive than Danid. Danid's been Danid's able to get more, uh, more work done. Davin, meaning that they're going to miss that Ooh. one out. Zuna's taking nice a ride. Lil Bo, as predicted, going to get the environment. Oh, Danid's actually overextended there a little. Looking to find some repositions. I just after I was singing his praises for being aggressive. Davin. What does he do? I think he just goes in a bit too far without re realizing that Zuna's been bumped off. Bumped off. Zuna's taking a ride. Lil Oh, he gets bashed as well by Visility. Okay, they force out the Transcendence. Bokken decides to use his Transcendence very far away from everybody else after Milky Man managed to dive in. So, they are in control of the point, so investing into this isn't a terrible idea as long as they can stay alive. That was a bit of a beef by Milky Man. I think he should have been able to find the kill there onto Yuffie, honestly. Yuffie got bashed, I think, and was pretty weak or something. But, kind of fucks up his jump. So, might go in and maintain control as long I'm just as taking a look at Yofi here. And maybe get back into so he, he jumps, Yofi swiggles out underneath him. And then uses Sound Barrier, which I'm not really sure why Yofi uses sound. sound Barrier. And it only catches three people. Um, Numlock's out of line of sight underneath here. And both Danid and Tuna are on the respawn. So, um, the instant reply from Team Giganti as well isn't really required, especially because the person that's being pressured is Zappis and he doesn't even get it anyway. But it looks like British Arcane aren't really going to be punished too hard for, for that uh, weird ultimate usage because Giganti got scared themselves and just replied with it. But I think if, if both teams were a little more aware, <coughs> Yofi probably wouldn't have used the Sambar and Giganti if he had used the Sambar, he wouldn't have replied with it anyway. Dangerous to team against you right now because soon as coming to this next one with a grab bomb combination, they might not even have to invest. The Did Davin not generate his ult in the whole of that fight? I guess he died really early on. Big advantage at the end of this fight, though. And Zappis got demaxed, so he doesn't have his bomb. So Zappis felt like he needed to use his bomb. To be fair, he probably did. Lobo didn't need to use his uh, his sound barrier, but Yofi used his as well. So mistake from both teams, I think. But now Hurricane have Grav Bomb. And Grav Bomb into Winston Goats is just... It should just be a fight win every time, I think. Um, and then once you... If if they execute quickly and they realize that... See, the thing is... I'm not sure you can predict here that you have an ult advantage over Davin. Because Davin died really early on in the fight. But then Tsuna died only a little bit after him. So, I don't know how good your ult tracking is. Or whether there's something that um, the British Hurricane can read into. But I'm not sure that they would predict at this point that they have a 25% advantage over Davin. Because Davin was even able to respawn and take part a little bit in the end of the fight, whereas Tuna wasn't. So, I don't know. So they might expect the fact that they're going to get counter-graphed here and they don't have a support ult to deal with it, but you can still grab bomb because there's no, you don't really need to uh, get so involved in the follow-ups. So absolute yeeted grab. Must have been paying attention to Zappis' uh, Okay, so Zappis tries to do that flicky thing. Probably need a name for these different dukes. So Zappis, like, puts his matrix out and then flicks his matrix, flicks his body away to make it look like the matrix is away, then puts his matrix back on. But Suna sees that he does this weird flick and then just waits until the matrix is gone and then eats it out. So he's pretty confident that he's read the fact that Zappis is trying to bait him and then just. Throws the grab out. So then the, the bomb is. What the fuck is this bomb from Haffy Cool? Hello? Nice bomb, Haffy. That's a, that's a nice bomb, Haffy. <laughs> I told you to skip this one. Well, Haffy Cool just straight beefs this. In the corner, look at the cleave coming in from the Tesla cannon of Winston. The self destruct was committed early by Happy. Won't find anyone out, <laughs> out here. Milton That's such a huge raised. mistake as well. Because it's just going to lose his team the fight flying. when they should have won it and got back in control. Sure he the I, he, I think he just Zappi forgets to apply the booster or press his Q before he presses shift, you know, so he doesn't. And now Giganti are in a huge advantageous position. They should win this map. Oh, Matt, they should win this stage. Just based off, uh, just based off that one error, actually. If you imagine what would have happened in this situation, not to analyze the, the mistake too much, but the, the grab that came out, if they if they throw it in here, there's nothing to be able to block it. They they definitely get the kills, and um, uh, when they come back in, Bokken's gonna have his uh, uh, bucket 
is going to have his trance to be able to negate Davin's ult. So uh, they would get the wipe. These guys wouldn't generate any ultimate charge and they'd be able to win. But at the end of <laughs> at the end of this fight, what's actually happened is Zappis has charged up nearly to his. They've got double support ult. They've got rally. It's like they're fighting against six ults now and they just use their big combo. So uh, if British Hurricane want to be able to take this, I don't know. What do they need to do? Just have some kind of outrageous primal? Eat the grav? That would be a good, <laughs> a good one. No one else was able to walk but they need to make a big play because it's very difficult. They probably need to play high tempo as well. Put a lot of pressure on Davin. See if they can eat the grab. I think that would be the best way of... Uh... Oh my god. Wow, what a fat play by Yofi. So they pressure... They pressure Davin super hard. So... They know that they need to make a play in this situation. So they're putting a lot of pressure on... I don't know whether you can quite tell, but they're putting a lot... Ah, it's a fucking bit right. They're putting a lot of pressure on Davin because they've seen him in kind of a forward position. And the whole of Gigant... I would like Giganti, to be honest, to be holding close to the choke here and just use their grav close and try and follow up on it. Uh, but I think they're trying to wait for the grav bomb combo, which I think in this situation is a bit of, mis of a mistake because you allow British Hurricane the space. They need to be able to make a play. But okay, they, they put a lot of pressure on Davin and they cover him with the defense matrix as well. So he can't just grab them here because he knows that Haffy's going to eat it. So he kind of has to wait until the matrix disappears. So you have like a timing, you have a window where you can attack Davin and Davin can't really do anything because what, like, what the fuck is he going to do? But when the matrix comes off, you better have done enough pressure to be able to put Davin in a shitty position. It's and they, and they position do. They get Yofi all the way behind and he manages to boot. And who the fuck else does he get? He gets Vazility as well? That's kind of outrageous. I think Davin's definitely the, um, the, the you know, the main target there. But... Okay, so Grav Bomb combo gets used here. That is a fucking great bubble as well from Numlocked. Look at this bubble. So, the Grav Bomb combo is here. And, and Bok has transcended. So, Bok's not gonna die. But, well, maybe actually, maybe it isn't a bubble. I thought it was Numlock's bubble that blocks it. But it may just be Danid using his shield and the fact that Bucket's in, in vulnerable. And Tsuna just bubbles himself anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure whether that's a bubble or whether that's just the players themselves surviving. No, because it would have destroyed Tsuna's personal, right? Like, it would have blown away Tsuna's personal bubble if it had blocked it with the personal bubble. So that must have been Numlock's... Uh, Winston bubble that blocked the bomb. I think. I don't think I'm mis... Uh, misattributing uh, thing either. So, I think that's... Uh, I think that's it. Uh, whether, or not, whether or not it actually does, it's smart play by Nomlock either way to try and defend from that. Because uh, m the reason that it's so good in... The reason the Grav Bomb is so good into Winston Goats is that normally the Winston is one of the players that's caught in it. And all he can do is drop his bubble and it just fucking, it just creates like a dome of explosion. You can't block it with the Reinhardt bubble. So Numlock playing off on the side and then jumping in to attempt to save is a smart way of trying to negate the fact that normally, um, normally Grab Bomb is just kind of an insta win against the Winston Goats team. See if that's something they do a lot of the time. Numlock in my chat, it blocked it. <laughs> he just really wants to claim. I think it did though, because otherwise it would have uh, blown up Tuna's bubble. Hurricane to lose control of this game. Yeah, Zuppe, he uses the transcendence there towards the end, gains some some precious percentage on the point right now. Ninety-six percent. But I think that's like said, that's a huge clutch play from British Hurricane. But it's not like. It's not just Yofi himself making the huge play. That's a really nicely set up team engagement. But it was it was required because they fucked up the diva bomb before that. I'm locked on the point. Gets bashed a little bit. Takes... Oof, that was... So this is interesting as well. They've got Numlocked on the point on his own. He uh, he gets bashed. Gets armor packed. They they don't really they're not able to do enough damage to him because he's playing around his bubble pretty nicely. Otherwise, you'd expect Numlock to be taking a shit ton of damage here, but they're actually, for some reason, they're putting a lot of pressure on, on these guys at the back as well. You'd normally expect, if if Numlock's on the point here, he should be fearful for his life, because uh, he should just be getting outrageous amounts of spam. But he can't, they they can't really do it because the Zen is out here. So the only sightline that the Zen has is down here, because they're in control of the point. They haven't been able like it's not so easy for them to just be able to get their Zen straight down because they're blocking the. The path for their support to be able to get on the point. If the Zen was here, Numlock wouldn't be able to play this aggro, but 
he can just kind of post up and doesn't really take damage from that many people. And then they, I think the call must be here to primal them into the bomb. Oh, well, he's going to send them in. Let's see what he does. He's going to filter out everyone from this but I think, room. Uh, can't quite it's them in a pretty the difficult LOS one to pull off. One with the primal rays that he's already popped. Coming out the top but it's a nice attempt at a play to, to be able to win just based off the uh, just just based off the bomb the clean and then their positioning is is pretty uh, pretty planned they hold so that you can beat them with the grab but now now they've now they've invested primal bomb and grav and Sambara as well. Why did they use Sambara? Was that to save Tsuni? I can't really see what, what Tsuni was being pressured. Tsuna was being pressured by. It seems like if you have... Hmm. Wow, that's, Lock that's down and make it easy I don't know. For to clean this out. If you just go for the next fight. You just have to win the one. Hurricane, they got a couple more to Again, out. British Hurricane are more they they're the team that need to be able to hold on to the point, but they also need ults for the next fight as well. So I think you I think you need to hold on to that sound barrier and play a bit more risky because otherwise you may be fucking yourself in the next fight. Now they're only running with the transcendence. Davin doesn't quite have the graviton yet, but Team Ganti they've got all these but uh, maybe Tuna was going to die. Exactly I couldn't really see from my POV. So they, this is... This is another strange usage of the sound barrier, I think, because they've got a rally just to disengage, and they know that they're going to disengage. So it's not like you're in the middle of a fight where you've forced out resources and then you sound barrier into them. It's um, it's just a very, very readable sound barrier engage, which I don't think is the best use of that ultimate at all. So Giganti have basically just wasted their barrier there. And Bridge Hurricane just kited it with a... Wait, did they use Trance as well? Engage with. I think that's exactly what they're going to do. Sound barrier, amp it with the movement speed to push Hurricane off of that stairs position. Yeah, Zuppi got pressured in the back by by Numlock, and then they they forced the trance as well, which is pretty nuts. I think you should be able to peel for Zuppi here without. Engage with. That's exactly what they're going to do. Sound barrier. Who did they use armor pack on? Movement speed to push Hurricane off of that stairs position. I don't know. I can't tell who Vizilites used armor pack on, but also they should just be able to pressure Numlock away by shooting at him. And Numlock's the only person that's really doing damage to up here, so I don't think they need to use either of these support ultimates. I mean, the sound barrier offensively is is them trying to pin them into a corner, but they're just down an alleyway where they can retreat the entire time. It's not like they have their backs against the wall, or it's not like they're in a fight on the point where they have to play the point. I think the sound barrier was used at a poor poor time from Team Giganti when British Hurricane were really expecting it and then the fact that this trance gets forced out is just far too easy for British Hurricane and so they've Giganti have just wasted both of their support ultimates for one rally so Hurricane should just win this I mean they have the primal on them locked they're gonna get grabbed they've done a lot of damage to Zappis bomb doesn't find anything other bomb goes in the back grab bomb combo was uh, pretty strange there from British Hurricane. Maybe just to force positioning so that they could catch everybody in the graph. It looks like they're taking Sanctum, and they're probably going to end up taking the pal. So, I think the plan in general there was good from British Hurricane, but I think it was too easy because Giganti just kind of crumpled whenever they applied pressure to them. I like the game plan from British Hurricane, but I think it should have been more difficult than that. Joffy needs a verbal confirmation from me every time he beats after this official. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, I think the only mistake that I've noticed being a, uh, from Hurricane after that first map was that I'm going to try and keep an eye on Joffy's beats a bit more because he had that first one where he just beat it and it caught three people and it was like trying to clutch the fight, but luckily Lilbo beat it afterwards. But against a better team, that should just be a mistake that you get ruined for on Sanctum. And then he had that second beat. Wait, where was that second beat? What did he do with the second one? I remember there was two, but I can't remember what the second one was. Can't remember anyway. Teams, sometimes they don't have the CDs available to actually deal with the... Okay, so let's take a look at this one. The front line. So What's the orange bar underneath the players on the hood? That's the player that you're spectating at the moment. And it feels like... Oh, hello. 
Your order from Pizza Pie Eatery is almost here. All right, be right back. Hello. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Okay. What the fuck is going on in my chat? Let's talk about how Sideshow thinks Shoes Money Crew is better than Runaway. True, I did definitely say that. Okay. <laughs> Let me just snaffle a slice of this pizza down my fucking... Down my gullet. Because I'm pretty bloody hungry. Alright. What was I saying? Tactical I've no idea. The one creating a lot more pressure on the back line. Zappis just feels a little bit afraid to go in at the moment. Of course, Giganti on the offense first. And okay. May have to play Both teams playing Ryan Goats this time. So this is the first time that we've seen uh, both teams on Ryan Goats. Giganti just going to take the fight straight to the facility. Using the rocket play a whip to knock him back. And Zappi looking for that free ult charge. Bubble has been used. Didn't really get much out of it from Milky Man. He's been pushed back. Sooner uses his personal. Just generate and charge. They've managed to find Havikul. Why was Havikul over there? He needs to stay up here. British Hurricane. Was he always over there? Take the fight straight to Is that part of a boop play that got Wait, scouted? Knock him back. Zappe looking for that free ult charge. Very low HP for Yofi. Needs to stay up here. Gets donated the armor pack. That's not going to be available for Numlock. Should any aggression come out from... Mm. Okay, so it looks like... Hafikor was deliberately placed in here, hoping that they would come forwards, and he'd be able to boop them, or boop somebody into the team, and be able to win based off that. That's my, my guess of what was going on here. They have to play slow themselves, Davin. But the problem with that is, unless... Unless Giganti are bots and don't realize that there's no D.Va in front of them, they're going to realize that he's hiding somewhere. It's, it's kind of a cool crafted play, but I feel like it's too... Uh, too obvious when you're on defense. Aggression come out from Team Giganti, they have to play slow themselves. Davin not looking the most healthy at the moment. They've isolated half the And then he gets bashed. Really and he gets steamed. But, but they killed Davin? Davin? So, 
When they all go, they all like loop around and try and kill Haffy. At this point, this should be the go signal for the rest of the British Hurricane to go into Giganti. I'm not sure whether that's what happens. I'm not sure whether that's how they kill Davin. Yeah, it looks like they So, if you... This is a little bit like the bait plays with, um, with like, the Titans or whatever. Mm-mm. So, when these guys all curl in to try and fuck with Haffy, British Hurricane push aggressive. So they have Tuna and they have uh, Num- uh, no, Yeah, Numlocked and uh, Danid. And they managed to bash Davin and get the kill on him. So they collapse. They use like Haffy Call as bait here as well. Really and collapse on him. But Bocket will find Davin on the back end of that. So a D-mech for a Zarya kill. Not the worst trade in the world to make. It's a really good trade, actually. Though, again, that's the second time that Davin has died first in a team fight, which is They very, continue to play aggressive, unlike. shove them into the corner. The they know that they've got them backs against the wall. That's really cool. I, I wonder whether that was pre-planned or whether that was on the fly improvisation. Like, I feel like the play that they were going for there was Haffy getting behind and booping somebody in. But it might have just been... A designed bait play. I'm not sure. Show pie. Can you see pie? You see pie? Pie. Pie. Mm -mm. Okay. Either way, whether it's designed or whether it's not, they react to it well. They've got to go reset. So far, this is the second big fight now, which is where the ultimates are more in play, especially British Hurricane. And the big thing for them is they want to get away with using as le little as possible. Coming it is a pizza. Fight. I fucking hate it's that Americans think that with the rally, pizzas are pies. The They're so dumb. Through, and then building pies have pastry, you fucking no idiots. That shadow online. He could use that as the option to shut it down. If it's good enough, and he can weave it. So Haffy is still playing around here. Haffy is still there. Maybe we'll see... More what they're intending. Past Milky Man Shield. Zillity, of course, will have the rally ready to go. It's going to be pop in response to Danids coming down quite early. He's there bullying Numlocked around. He's low HP. He doesn't have the confidence to drop the shield, commit to the shatter. But what is going on? Gianti are building up ults of their own. They need to keep mm -hmm. him up. Mm -hmm. They can't let him drop mm -hmm. down here, especially with that crucial ultimate on the line. There's the first move. It's going to be the Graviton Search from Suna to take out Davin nice and early. Self strike over the top. Beautiful boop. We'll set up a kill on Lilbo and a D mech on Zapis. Grab bomb is kind of weird though. Bullying Numlocked around. So, I'm just really interested in Haffy's position actually. Because he's positioned there the, the entire time, and he's just doing damage behind their shield. And if they punish him, they just run at him. So maybe it's not a set play at all. Maybe that's just a really good position for a diva to hold. Because if you try and punish, you have to commit so hard that they can uh, fuck you for it. Mm. Mm. Hairy pineapple, my favorite. On his low HP, right. he doesn't have the confidence to drop the shield, commit to the shatter. But what is going on? Gianti building up ults there. They rally, they have double support ults. Numlock takes bubble and armor here, pack. Especially with that crucial ultimate on the line. There's the first move. It's going to be the grab. Grab goes out and Davin dies Davin instantly. Nice so he can't even counter grab. He didn't have the grab up. Set up a kill you know, he's at 96. percent On Zapis, they're going to commit two ults to that one blank. Mm. There's a bit of grit in that piece of pineapple. In the bag. Free, free ultimates as well. You have the rally. Pineapple and pizza is do, lovely. And then diva bomb and grab. So it's not ideal for them because the fight ended so quickly. It didn't give a lot of time for sooner or half equal to build up towards their own ult. Now it's all on Bucket and Yofi here. Mm -hmm. They've got to use their ultimates properly in this next fight. They have a lot of defensive capabilities. Team Ganty on the other hand, they've only got the sound barrier. So you can expect a very aggressive play from them. Though we have seen bubbles come out, armor packs come out. So let's see. Giganti have got grab bomb. They can't be counter grabbed. Punishing. But they do have double exactly. support ultimate. 
He's going to have to be staying up here with that shadow, like we said. Going to have that grab. So they grab. It only catches the brig on the uh, on the Rhine. On top of them. Commit. Has that bomb is Graviton in. I, I think Milky Man misses his pin. It hits the hits the thing. Milky Man just basically headbutts the post. Perfectly on top of them. Sound barrier is there to block it out, but so are the shielding from the rest of Hurricane. There's sound barrier in response. Oh. Beautiful. I'm not, I'm not even sure he gets booped. He's got a bubble on him. I think he gets hit by Numlock's. <laughs> I think he gets hit by fucking Numlock's hammer, and it just moves him the slightest bit over. That he's just like, Doom, and just fucking headbutts the post. But he doesn't get so much booped as just marginally displaced. And it fucks their entire plan up. Perfectly on top of them. Sound barrier is there to block it out, but so are the shielding from the rest of Hurricane. There's sound barrier. Nice block and counter shadow from Numlock. They're on the back line. You can tell the priority. It's get rid of Milky Man. Discord. Red like a fucking book. Tunnel vision coming in from Numlock. Commits the charge to make sure Vizility goes down. And they have Sooner's grab online for the next attempt. And that's what I was saying as well. Okay, it's a good use of their ults. Even if, uh... They were. Now British Hurricane has Vizility. They've got it. So it's not their ultimates. Bubbles come out. I like that they spread out here as well, so that only a, a few of people at the front get uh, get grabbed. So you can kind of choose who you want to put in the grab. And Tuna jumps in, uses both of his bubbles to be able to keep people alive. If even if the pin had come through, they're just using their self uh, their sound barrier at the right time, using their. Uh, the bubbles at the right time as well. Perfectly on top of them. Sound barrier. I, mean, I think Giganti should have so taken a bit more of a neutral fight first, but they're, oh, they're just yeah, wrecking them. Numlock you know, if you don't force out the resources, then Hurricane have just well. got them they, to be able to negate your the your graph bomb were. combo. Now British Hurricane at one minute remaining have an excellent way to deter this next push, regardless of whether you've got the transcendence or not. Team Giganti doesn't matter as long as a good bash or a good charge comes through into Milky Man. That bomb will clear out the team. That burst damage will just Cut through the free they have another grab bomb. The transcendence all in all. So now both They're on defense, so they don't need to force anything. It's the same route but because the ults got weirdly offset, okay, Haffy again gets punished. They've isolated their Rhine. And three players are gone. So this is... This positioning of Haffy sets up a lot of very strange fights. Where... Haffy peeks out and does a lot of damage to the Rhine behind his shield, which allows you to win the Rhine v Rhine so much more than if he was on this side. A normal positioning for the Diva, like around here, or even if you took an aggressive position up top here, you're not really getting very much damage on the Rhine. But Haffy's able to get a lot of damage here and help win, like pressure the Rhine, so that you know he's got the Discord Orb on him. He's going to take more damage than Numlocked is, all else being even. So, but then he gets pressured here and bashed. But it sets up the positioning so weirdly for the rest of Giganti. They go, they go aggressive. Davin gets bashed. Milky Man has gone down this way. He's got the ult to, to be able to remake. Can't use a self struck Has to use it now to remake. So now Milky Man is down here, and the rest of his team is inside this tiny little room without a Rhine. So then Hurricane can either. Go this way and try and fuck Milky Man, which would I think be a bad idea. Because it's kind of like the, the, the bait play in reverse. If you all rush this way to try and kill Milky Man, these guys are all going to rush and, like, fucking T-bone you. And they're probably going to be able to win the fight. They'll just use Milky Man as bait. Gonna be so, unfortunate now because so like weirdly, Milky Man's kind of safe over there because you can... Uh, not safe, he's not really doing anything. But he's, it would be a bad idea for them to full hard commit onto him. But if Milky Man doesn't reconnect, and he can't really reconnect very easily, because as soon as he comes up here, then he's not really bait anymore. Uh, these guys just don't have a Rhine. These guys are fucked. You said the immediate remake denies that so they just grab. I mean, Zappis is over there. I, so I, I think this is... 
will be enough to take out Davin. Vizility is going to be removed as well. British Hurricane really know how to play around this. They know what their setup is. They know what people will try and do to counter it, and they know what their reactions are. Which is super cool to watch. If this is a tempo play from the Transcendence, as long as they finish the fight quickly. And let me remind you guys, if you've been carrying, that's the fourth time Davin has died first in the fight. It's really excellent play from British Hurricane. They're shutting down this Zarya every time, and it's for good reasons. Davin is such an extremely high tempo Zarya, it's difficult to deal with him once he gets going. All right, well. This fight. Again, they've got a massive advantage in terms of their ult. Because Zappa used his... His, uh, his transcendence in the middle of this fight. So now they've got double support ult for the end of this fight, plus their rally. Giganti have to land some outrageous Shatter or something to be able to win. Bubble blocked by Numlox. He knows what they're going to do. He goes a little aggressive, goes for his own Shatter. Uh, this is becoming very chaotic here, though, actually. I feel like Hurricane have really lost their uh, coordination at the beginning of this fight. Oh, wow. They're actually going to lose. Okay, they 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 fucked this up. I think they got too they got too excited or some shit. They normally look very very prepared when they take a fight, but this kind of devolved into chaos. So bubble gets used very early. Counter bubble gets used. Numlock blocks this, and now that the shatter's gone, I, I feel like they 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 get too excited. These guys have gone in way too far. These guys have gone in so far that they can just drive. Giganti can just drive a wedge between them and the rest of their team. They should have. They should have applied a bunch of pressure and then kept this kind of position because they know that Giganti have to come back into them. But Numlock and Danet have gone like, I don't know. Numlock knows that he has a big shatter, and they can try and apply a bunch of pressure, and maybe they're hoping that if they can push back the rest of the team, uh, Hurricane can kill the other players that actually play the point. But now on the way back, Bokken feels like he needs to use his trance for some reason to try and help Numlocked, even though Numlocked is perfectly fine. But just because, I think because Numlocked and Danid were so far forward, Bokken gets scared that they're going to get picked. So he uses his trance. But this is not a good transcendence usage. But I think it was a result of uh, the fact that they were far forwards. The Shadow finds Milky Man, but it just... There's a bomb that they needed to back off from as well. And again, the, their front line of Numlocked and Danid are way further forward than the rest of their team. Everyone else backed off to avoid the bomb and they stayed caught forward because their original positioning was too far forwards. In the middle of nobody, Zappi will find and they definitely the should have won this fight. The sound barrier is pretty clutch if they think they can still win it, but at that point, the fight's probably already lost. But I don't think that that's necessarily a bad sound barrier from Yofi because their mentality at that point would have been, oh fuck, uh, like we can still win this. We had such an advantage coming into it, but then they just screwed up the, the, uh, the engagement after the Earth Shadow was used. British Hurricane, it felt to me that Yofi held on to that sound barrier for a very mm -hmm. long time despite Numlock. Numlock stayed for. For what? Numlock stayed to. Uh, what? Save Daniel from what? It's really excellent play from British Hurricane. They're shutting I'm not saying it's both of their fault. I'm just saying they're too far for forward. Good reasons. Davin is such an extremely high tempo Zarya. It's difficult to deal with him once he gets going. Hopefully Did Danik get shattered? In his next fight. Shatter completely no. cancelled out. Milky Man blowing an ultimate to the quantum wind. His facility is going to get his one off. Requires less skill to just press Q and get a budget. I don't know what you mean. Oh, you mean here? Extended. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm not, I'm not saying that they were in the wrong position here. This isn't the crux of it. The crux of it is that they were out here. That everything that happens afterwards is a result of them pushing too far forwards at the beginning. Uh, yeah, Numlock has to stay with Danid because he's been fucking knocked to the floor. But that's... that's the fight is already at a big disadvantage for a Hurricane at that point. Uh, I don't think they should have pushed that aggressive. Because they had a massive... When, when the enemy team has to come to the point, you don't have to take the fight to them. They have to take the fight to you. And you can use that to your advantage. Now Davin has this Graviton Surge to push through this choke. So far, British Hurricane, they're having to use a lot of cooldowns already. And there's the Graf. Graf gets used. Numlock 
Denmark Another finds his way around the back. Graviton surge to push through this choke. So far, British Hurricane, they have to use a lot of cooldowns already. And there's the... So they grab. I'm surprised that Davin didn't counter grab. But maybe he just assumes they're going to be able to trans and win this fight, and then he'll just grab afterwards. Zuna to get them on the back of the payload, keep them out of the choke. Now look, isolating Lilbo, he's done that twice off the back of grabs now, getting those charge kills in and shutting everything down without any extra resources committed. Mm. They've still got the self-destruct, Earth Shatter, and they're building towards a transcendence as well. Coming straight back to that point you made, yeah, Nomlok keeps getting key targets in the Graviton, charging well, Gavin to... See, the problem here is, Giganti have an opportunity to win this next fight, but Bokkan's going to have his transcendence. And, and Bokken was only at 63% here. So if they counter grab, they're going to be able to do a lot of damage to the players that are in this. And they're going to get released from this grab first. So even if someone the does get of picked payload, off, keep out the like even if Lobot does get picked off, if these players were all trapped in a grab here, they'd still be able to win this fight, I think. But they choose not Choke, to. Not isolating Lilbo. He's done that twice they just the invested trance in a fight that uh, and shutting everything down without any extra resources committed. The ends are going badly for them. I think the best teams can win a fight with a grab even if you do have trance. A trance is not a hard counter to a grab. There are a bunch of ways of being able to still find a pick. Like the charge, for example. The pin, I mean. Okay, so Rally goes in. They're back off really nicely. Speed boost timing is good. Got that Earth Shadow. He's had a big one so far. Looking for number two. He can just get behind. Milk is shielding. He's looking to do the same thing. Ganti haven't really got anything done. But now they grab. They transit. The pin is pretty good. Defensive self-destruct from Happy Call to try and peel. So what happens here to Numlock? So grab is used. He, he gets... Numlock is incredibly weak. As for why this sound barrier comes in, I don't know the reason. I don't know why you have to use sound barrier here. Instead of following up on the players that are inside the grav, though, they go for this charge play. Numlock gets charged out, and then he has... Um, Then he has the, uh, I guess, knocked down super weak. But he shatters Milky Man and Davin. If the sound barrier is a reaction to the defensive self-destruct, though, I think they'd... I mean, nobody actually got caught by it. Right? Like, nobody was in a position where they would have died to the self-destruct. Nobody got hit by it. So, I don't know. Bit of panic from Lilbo, I think thinking that his team was going to get caught by the defensive self-destruct. If, if you grab and you know that the other team has a uh, self-destruct, though, like, you've got to expect that that's going to come in. So going for, like, the charge play with a bubble or something like that, it's fine. This is wild from fucking Numlock, though. How do they not manage to get this? I think the fact that Vizility is split here and doesn't go back with them, but then he was forwards in the grab anyway, so... But I don't know how the fuck they don't manage to kill Numlock, and then he shatters and then pins Milky Man back in. <clears throat> he gets saved by the Transcendence a little bit, just as it runs off. No kills. Back, <laughs> but that's still crazy. Isolating Milky Man for Dana to then pick up the kill again. It's pretty they nuts. want to get this D-Mech here, shut down Zappis, let him go into the swim, have a reset, and they got Sooners grab back online to stall this out. Numlock should have died before he got any opportunity to get the Earth Shatter off. The Transcendence, <laughs> and then Mil it seems that Numlock brings Milky Man. On a but that's that's very weird. And it ends just as badly. <laughs> Team Aganti now they have to make this shadow big. It's huge big individual play, play by Seb. Bottom. There's not a lot of time remaining here, Trid. Wants the breakthrough. Numlock has to press W to do that one, but but it's okay. Not letting him. And the one locks him in place. Pocket finding Lilbo as expected. Wonderful and block. The um the European contenders teams seem a lot more a lot more high tempo than the. Korean t contenders teams and also more likely to use their ults early in fights which is more similar to how the owl teams play I think through here 
If you're the team with an advantage, if you're the team with a positional advantage, you want to trade the ults so that uh, you don't. Like you're always keeping that advantage. None at all. Vasility though, he has that rally, and Zapis has the bomb. It has to be a hyper aggressive fight from Team Aganti here because they've got to cut through the transcendence, the sound barrier, and already a lot of them are very. So with eight seconds left, they rally, but they don't really do anything. They're trying to push through a really tight choke point. Danny get back, gets bashed, but he's still got his rally available. So now they got self-destruct and uh, shatter combo. They use the beat. Number looks pretty far forward, but they've isolated Davin, so they should be able to get that kill. Trance is there as well. Both both Zuppet and Lilbo are going to get theirs up. I think again here. Oh, Danid and Numlock to get a bit overexcited. They do get boobed. So Numlock gets boobed in. But. Oh, maybe it's not there. Maybe it's sooner not going far enough, actually, now that I think about it. Because the whole point was to set up this bomb shatter play. The bomb shatter finds Davin on the floor, tries to pin. Milky Wonder gets the pin on him. Danid's trying to keep Vazility away so that Numlocks can actually get shit done with this charge and with the uh with the shatter but where's Tsuna? Fight, but they need to keep contesting the payload it forces Zappis to go forward first Massive. there's a self-destruct on the back oh, line no, no. will be blocked out yeah Tsuna, Tsuna was all the way back here instead of pushing forward with the with the front line which I think would have been the better idea to push forward there if you've got your if you're, if you're making a play where you're trying to self-destruct into them, and then shatter, and then clean up all of these people around this area, then you want your two main damage dealers, the Zarya and the Zen, to at least have sightlines where they can do damage to the people. Ibokan can do damage to these guys here, but Tsuna really isn't doing anything. He's just trying to laser down Zappis on the card. But you can... If you, if you win this fight, you win the, the round. You can allow this cart to push all the way down here if you want. If Zappis is just pushing the cart all the way down here, as long as you kill the rest of the five players that are here, you're going to be able to go back and kill Zappis anytime you like. I think that the focus is pretty split in this fight, and it means that Numlock and Danhead look like they're too far forwards, but I don't think they are. I think it's the rest of the team that plays too passive there. They should have pushed aggressively. And then Danhead and Numlock die. They manage to clean with Davin on the point. Trance gets used. They grab it. Yofi dies and then Milky Man's back, so then they have the shield. I think, I think if Tsuna had gone more aggressive rather than focusing on Zappis, they would have won that fight. just so terrified of Tsuna right now. The amount of damage this guy is putting out so far is incredible. I'm not in Dallas. I'm flying to Dallas on Thursday morning. to secure that fight with the Graviton. Too many members of his team had gone down. Sure, he was very close to it, but I think investing it there was probably not the greatest place to do I don't it. think that's a feed from Dunhead and the I think they made the right play. Graviton, but now there is no transcendence. There is a sound barrier, however, and a lot of these aggressive plays seem to be paying off for Team Giganti, but Milky Man, he has to step up. So far, Numlock is completely outplaying him. We could continue to be more of the same here as he goes down incredibly low, drawing more resources from his team into him to keep him up. And he okay, a lot of ults available here for Giganti. But yeah, British Hurricane have got the high ground. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? There is a sound barrier, however, and a lot of these aggressive players... They try and apply a little bit of pressure, but Hurricane are very determined to take control of this high ground. They get the Discord Orb on Milky Man. And then when the rally comes in, they drop and just punish him super hard. So the bubble's already been used pretty early on. He backs off into the... In, inside to be able to recharge his um, shield. And they see that opportunity and they all just drop on him and destroy him. is completely outplaying him. We could continue to be more of the same here as he goes down incredibly low, drawing more resources from his team into him to keep him up, and he goes down! He tried committing the Earth Shatter again! Their plan wasn't to build Grav, otherwise why would they have self-destructed it? That doesn't make any sense. But soon as just shred through him, no value again from these Yeah, Giganti have to win this fight, so. They're still going to commit the ultimates. They have to stay on here, though. They're going to commit every ult they can. So if Hurricane just plays slow, they're going to be able to bait ults out. And Hurricane are going to shut down this, um, 
that was a I think something that a lot of teams, even in OWL, really struggled with the concept of is thinking about whether the enemy team is desperate to win. They refuse to walk forward versus British Hurricane. On, on defense of control points, not control points, on defense of assault or, um, or hybrid um, capture points, this is in a really weird place now. When you're on defense of those maps, you're more desperate to win because if you lose one team fight, you've lost the whole point. So the attacking team can play smart and force ults out of the other team by applying pressure. On offense of an escort, or, or when the time's low, or when teams have to touch the point or something, Pain. they become more desperate to win the fight. And so you can force out more ults from them. You know, it's usually pretty easy just to stand I think recognizing that advantage and, and abusing it is... Um, from it. They still invest gives you a, a huge so scared at the moment they, they don't want to die to anything from british hurricane and british a huge advantage in the uh, in the goats fight for sure and that's not stopped now they're looking like i, I don't know man it, it, it looks very tough to break this crap no absolutely and there's a very good reason why they are undefeated as of yet they're joined by angry titans of course there were some if you look at the standings these are yeah, I don't even mm. use your team where it because team anti, they'll, they'll just get rolled in the case. They have to milk as much time as possible out of point A right. if they're able to hold on point B because that EMP almost guarantees the point A take, unless barring some kind of massive mistake from British Hurricane. Trying to see where Happy Calls disappeared to. It looks so like Happy Calls not scouting, he's, not he's staying on the sub, bro. Just yet. So, I'm going to get a uh, little bit of damage, hopefully, to someone. See how they play around this. Angle in. He's drawing a lot of attention. They have to be aware of where that Sombra is. Playing on the side, so trying to charge up his ult. And it's just anyone's guess about where he might be. But they're going to emerge onto Hurricane. They're doing a similar thing to what we saw from uh, GC% Percent Wave. Where the... Let me just take it back a little. The spacing of one front line to the other front line is very large. <laughs> so... You're not really going to be able, as Team Giganti, to be able to hunt these guys down. Um, but if you do play aggressive, Havikul's going to charge a bunch of EMP. So Havikul should be able to charge a bunch of EMP just based off this. Actually, he doesn't charge that much. I think GC Boots Hand Wave really uh, showed how to play this style the best, but he, they're doing a similar kind of thing. But I think this is a good plan for Blizzard World Point A. It's Hapikul difficult to abuse. These very good angles to do damage to the back line, and there seems to be no it's a little slow. Is actually uh, trying to take him out. But there's the first push. Numlock goes okay, down. I don't know why they're doing Immediately, this. Immediately, they're able to punch. Very good angle. So, Diva Matrix. It means you can kind of just run at the team. Of Zappis is doing a great job at eating most of the spam that Haffy Call is throwing in here. And, and they're using a lot of shielding to make sure that Haffy can't build it up very much. Haffy's not playing as aggressive as Edison was when we were watching that VOD yesterday. But, again, Zappis is very good at being able to eat a lot of this shit. But it looks like, now that they're distracted and looking at Haffy, British Hurricane think that they can engage now. Uh, I don't think you ever really want to be the team that's attacking as the team with Sombra Goats if you haven't been able to hack somebody. Um, they've got Bokken around the back. They've got Haffy here. And they're hoping that now that they've used the, the Matrix and Bubbles and stuff like that, that they can go aggressive. But I think they... Should still lose the front line battle, honestly. To take him out. But the first push Especially because they down. already used their bubbles as well. Able to punish him. Milky Man's able to find that so I, I don't really know why they will went so aggressive here. David was able to put on some x ray goggles, find Happy Cool in the back line somewhere. Oh, well, the grav is used. What the fuck? How did Suna have the grav so much faster than David? So, one second ago, they're fairly even. The back line, and there seems to be no time when Zappis is actually trying to take him out. But as they but push in the here, push, soon as up to down. he's 20, oh, then he's only he's only 10% ahead of Davin here, the really. Like 13% ahead. But then he does a shit ton of damage to everyone. X ray goggles, find half cool in the back line somewhere. Gonna quit the X ray goggles. So we're Milky Man. Milky Man How does he get so much damage out? Immediately, they're able to punish him. Milky Man's able to. He gets a big right click on. On all of those guys and goes up to 90% when Davin's at 60. That's pretty crazy.
find that out quite nicely. Bocket will answer with more of the same. David was able to put on some X-ray goggles, find Happy Cool in the back line somewhere. Gonna quit the Graviton Surge from Tsuna. They think they're gonna be able to win this one, and by God, Blank, they're gonna be able to do it. That's, that's kind of wild. Members early into if, the fight. if Tsuna hadn't got his Grav way before Davin, then I think that would have been a bad idea to engage there. But because he did, <laughs> they just clutched it. But I don't think that was smart play. Happy got killed immediately. They lost their front line quicker. And it was pretty much just the fact that Tsuna got the grab earlier that won them that. I will take your Twitch Prime Life of Bubbles. I'd love to. It would be my honor. But when they needed the most, they didn't have them. So British Hurricane, now they have the EMP online and they can completely shut down both of these support. But I don't think they played. Through. And this is something that as smart as they could have with the Sombra. They know that Happy Cool must be getting close to that EMP. Is he going to commit it to the fight nice and early as expected? Is he going to so, commit it to the Surely they know that Happy Cool must be getting close to that EMP. What I like about this Sombra play is that. So surely they know that Happy Cool must be getting close. They're already in them as the EMP comes out. Whereas a bunch of the Korean contenders teams, when we were watching them yesterday, EMP when their Ryan is like here and it doesn't look like it makes that much difference but you you're so, it, it does it makes a huge difference you're so much closer and it means that you're directly on top of them and doing damage as all of their resources get stripped away so that EMP is so as the, as the EMP comes in Milky Man's just surrounded by so many people Zappe's got the trans but they still burst Milky Man down and this is what you see in Owl is that with an EMP, if you time it correctly, even if the enemy is tranced, they are still going to die. Because a Zen with Discord, a Zarya that's pretty charged, plus whatever other damage you've got coming in there, like the Reinhammer, is more than 300 HP per second. So, you're going to be able to find that kill if you execute on the EMP correctly. Life of Bubbles, thank you! Two months! As a fellow Northerner, I'm proud of you. There you go. Mm. Yeah. I forgot to mention as well. Erky, thanks for the Twitch Prime. And Juice is loose as well. Thank you very much. Alright, let me finish that bite. Um. Zappis running the Anna here is really interesting. As you guys were saying. The the nano can be really good against the EMP. But normally you would switch uh, somebody else off for this. I don't know whether they're going to do that at some point later on. Or whether they're just going to try and stick with the quad support. I think the quad support is just because they need to win one of these fights against the EMP. To be able to regain control of... Uh, of the momentum because if they lose this fight they only really have to get to about here and they're gonna lose so they only have like what two fights i think zappis is putting all his eggs in the nano boost basket to be able to uh fuck with the emp Let's dial this one back It doesn't really i don't know whether it affects this fight too much the the diva um the diva matrix if if zappis hadn't been hacked and he was on diva at this point the matrix would be able to stop the zen damage coming onto milky man but it wouldn't stop daned sooner and numlocked so he's still going to die when he's uh, got the discord he's open and stuff so, nice and early he goes down we'll get that transcendence off lilbo going to stay on that sound barrier for now bokken trances just because davin ults which I think is reasonable. Um, you know that they're going to go aggressive when they get EMP'd because they have no choice to do anything else. They can't back off under a shield. And your trance is basically just to counter the, the grab anyway, so it's not a waste. It's, it's maybe not necessary, but I don't think it's a waste. It's, it's one of those situations where it's better safe than sorry. See and Fox, thank you for the Twitch Prime as well. I'm not in Dallas yet. I'm go going to Dallas on Thursday morning. EMP, there's no cooldowns to keep anyone alive. So with the good focus fire coming out from British Hurricane, they were to remove 
how, Milky Man from the fight, and immediately afterwards, Numlock can engage that massive. Earth so now Zapis has gone back over to Diva. Now that Hafikul is off the Sombra, Zapis has gone to Diva. So I think the whole point of that quad support was to try and sustain the EMP. Unbelievable! He gets away with this unpunished all the time. Shadow will knock down Bokit. Right. Numlock can engage that massive Earth Shadow with no shield to block. Again, with the good focus right coming out from British Hurricane. I'm not sure how Tuna knows that that's not going to get eaten. And immediately afterwards, Numlock can engage that massive. Maybe he sees it come off, but maybe he just knows that Zapis is. Uh, you know, further back in the fight. I don't know whether anyone's scouting or anything. Maybe maybe someone saw Zappis through the, the angle there. I don't know. But he absolutely yeets that one in. I'm going to assume they have some kind of intel, but... That one seems like uh, a bit of a yeet to me. So they do have the sound barrier here. They try and go for a charge, but they block the charge. With the... Uh, and then Milky Man uses Shatter as well. Bokken's Bokket is knocked to the floor, but now they have another Sandbarrier. And the spacing is good here for the uh, Hurricane. They're able to find another boop onto Milky Man. He goes weak. It seems like they should have won that one, so I'm interested in how they lost it, actually. Milky Man's super weak here. But, uh, oh, I can't see shit. The bitrate is so bad. I think actually I, don't, I actually don't know what happens in this fight Numlock gets booped forward and goes for a shatter but if he just holds shield I guess it's Zappis as well has found a really nice position behind him I don't know I feel like they should have won this fight but what went wrong for them so they go for the they go for the charge but the shatter catches three. Unbelievable! He gets away with this unpunished all the time. Shadow will knock down. Forces them to back up a little bit, and soon is really far forward. Sooner gets body blocked and a lot of damage on him. So that forces a sound barrier. But even here, with sound barrier and the other team doesn't have anything, you should at least go even in this trade and feel good about it. Milky Man gets bashed, and Numlock gets booped forwards. But then if Numlock just holds shield in front, this fight is still pretty even because Milky Man's really weak. Maybe it's just a punish on Numlock as he, uh, as he shatters. Numlock throwing out the shatter and he dropped from about here to here on his health. He's got Discord Orb on him and Zappis is behind him. So if he just, if he just full holds shield in front of them like that, he's just going to get slowly chunked down by Zappis. So he has to take a side position, and then everyone else takes a shit ton of damage. Sooner and Numlock both die. It's a weird fight, though. I'm not really sure if I can pin it down to anything. I don't know what I can learn from that. bomb available for Giganti. I've got to commend Davin in that fight in particular. Really nice projected barriers and self barriers to prevent Numlock's shadow from coming through. Despite Milky Man arguably going a little bit too aggressive there, so Davin becomes the shield. Of the I think in the, moment. The, bucket, he has a the body block on Suna and the fact that it was set up by the Shatter were the changing factors for Giganti. I'm not sure the British Hurricane really made that many mistakes in that fight. The charge knocks Davin off the high ground. I mean, I can't say anything about what happens from down here. But if you kill Milky Man, <coughs> this fight should be done. They have transfer the grab. Alright, they just didn't even touch the car. Okay, well, that was a weird map. But I think point A was very instructive. Hurricane's defensive point A was uh, very good. Their offensive point A was clutch, but their play with the EMP was very good. They don't matter too much at the end of the day. Right. Who are the bright spots on Giganti right now? 
Sept3, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Um. Hmm. I think Milky Man's Rhine has looked pretty good. He's had some clutch shatters. He's also been outplayed by Numlock the majority of the game, but I don't think that Milky Man has played too badly. Vazility tends to be a little passive. Does he, actually? Mm, sometimes, but then sometimes he's just doing good work contesting uh, areas. Lilbo's had some bad sound barriers. But the sound barriers from both teams have been a little questionable. I think Zup has played well. Davin is solid, but he's getting outpaced mechanically a bit by Danid. Okay. I don't really know. It's a bit too early. So, they've also changed their, uh, changed their lineup. Ooh. So instead of Tsuna, the... I don't mean Danid, I meant Tsuna, when I was saying that Davin was getting outpaced. Um, instead of Danid, they now have uh, instead of Tuna, they now have Sparker. So that person in, because uh, bubble usage and bubble management is a big thing. Graviton usage is another big thing. Um, but these things, they don't matter too much at the end of the day. When, when so you what are they doing? Scan who comes in and can play like this. We My brig is just that amazing, outpacing Zarius. Well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Imagine going from playing Doomfist in the finals of contenders to, to being in Brig Jail, Omega Lol. Okay. So what's the plan here for British Hurricane on the defense? Basically a hyper aggressive comp from British Hurricane that kind of almost needs them to get the Sombra to that EMP quickly. Wow, that's a lot of They're not doing anything to number. Right the Basically a This is the weird stuff as well that I was thinking about with Vizility. Was like why why is he not just almost needs them to get Facility just ignores Numlock instead of at least trying to do something about it. He doesn't have Discord orb on him. Oh no, they don't even have a Zen. But they don't even they don't even try and pressure Numlock there. They just give him a free 50%. What the fuck is going on here? Jump in there and catch him nearly at 50% ult charge already, and there's barely been an engagement. Sparker looking pretty similar. Bob's gonna be joining us. So they just ran Moira Ghost and tried to run all the way around, just literally all the way around the high ground. But why does Zuppet drop down to the floor? To get the Sombra to that EMP quickly. Wow, that's a lot of cleave coming through. Yeah, you highlight it right at the beginning of the series. Blank Numlock able to just jump in there and catch him nearly at 50% ult charge already. And there's barely barely been an engagement. Sparker looking pretty similar. Bob's going to be joining us. He's going to become a 7v6 mm. very quickly. And then you can pop this is a like very strange fight. Quicker. This also, is a... Just about to come in. Mini will keep Zappis up a little bit longer. Now he's been healing from his team. But a D-Mech... I, I mean, I just don't understand what the game plan is here from Team Gigante. Well. So much damage coming out. Zappis oh, coalescent the can in there. barely <laughs> keep it up. And the Bob's in there. It's going to flush him out into the firing lines. But Milky Man's found This is fucking the chaos. Alright, so what, what the fuck? fuck happens here they send the majority of their team goes around the side i can't draw it but then zuppa goes across the point the idea is what that they're gonna dive sparker then drop off the high ground and play point is that the idea sparker looking little bow jumps across at the same time as these guys dive in they try and do a little bit of damage to somebody but they mostly just get peeled away by Haffy or something Gonna be joining us. It's gonna become a seven v six very quickly. And if you can pop Lilbo like that, it's gonna come even quicker. Also, the Dmech just about to come in. Mini will keep zapping. And then it just evolves into being a fight on the floor. But their focus fires all over the place. Comes in all the same. Dynamite in the room as well. Just so much damage coming. 
They they're really focusing on pressuring Hafiko. But then Danid is and super weak and, and gets tickled to death by Milky Man. I think mean, Danid but fucks Milky that up. Danid on the back line, so they are starting to come back but they also don't really have any long range heals. Well, no, that's that's not true, is it? He could just take a harmony. But there's a lot of pressure on their tanks, so the healing's all on their tanks. I don't know, as this as is as fucking what Hathiko. weird fight. They got control of it. it looked so disastrous for Giganti to begin with. And now, they're starting to take control away from Hurricane as they pick up Happy Call and guarantee that kill. Yofi's down, there's no healers for them left. Now the bock has been dropped as well. What's the plan there from Hurricane? So the Mercy stays with the Ash, and they bait the dive towards them. The tanks are ready to peel, and Danid's supposed to go uncontested, build the EMP, and be able to win with the EMP. I think that's basically the plan. The, the Winston Goats team has really got to focus the Ash. The Ash builds Bob really quickly as well, does a bunch of damage, and Danid's supposed to go uncontested while they just cycle players on and off the point to keep the point contested. So, I mean, how how well yeah, does that plan and now actually to work? The firing lines, but Milky Man Dame dying off Lil Bo like that, it's going to come even quicker. I think, I think the reason that this looks so crazy scrappy is that Giganti have to split attention between hiding, diving, and pressuring Danad. And also, we can't tell what the Hurricane tanks are doing this entire time because the angle is on the ash. About to come in. Mini will keep Zappis up a little bit longer now. He's the healing from his team, but the demon. But it looks it incredibly chaotic. The same. Dynamite in the room as well. Just so much damage coming out. Zappis oh, coalesces. Can in there. barely keep it up. If Danad had stayed alive here, though, if Danad had had his translocator active and had managed to get to safety and was playing maybe a bit, a bit safer, or had a harmony orb on him, or Milky Man hadn't spotted him and gone for it, or he'd been able to take the health pack or, or something. They would have been able to win this fight with the EMP. I, I don't think the game plan here from Hurricane is particularly bad. It looks incredibly chaotic, but they have Zen and Ash on high ground, along with Mercy, who at the moment is in the air, but is mostly going to be healing and, or damage boosting the Ash and then healing the tanks. The tanks are going to rotate between peeling for the high ground and contesting the point to make sure that they can't get a tick before Danid, who's supposed to kind of run around fairly uncontested because Giganti are so focused on the Ash. And if you try and run this with the Widow, the Widow's easier to dive. So I don't think the game plan here is terrible from Hurricane. I think it just gets fucked up because Danid dies. Because I think their win condition really... I don't think there's any way that British Hurricane win unless the EMP comes through. Or, or if Giganti really fail a dive and they're able to get a pick on somebody. Like if Milky Man dives in solo to try and take down Sparker and they're just... Bucket and Sparker kill them along with Numlock jumping on them or something like that. I suppose that's a way that they win the fight as well. But that, re that would require a big mistake from Giganti. But I think if both teams play reasonably well, you need the EMP to come in for you to be able to win. Thick Burger, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. And the Bob's in there. It's going to flush him out into the firing lines. But Milky Man's found Danid on the back line, so they are starting to come back into this. As well as a D-Mech onto Happy Call. They've got control of it. It looked so disastrous for Giganti to begin with. And now they're starting to take control away from Hurricane as they pick up Happy Call and guarantee that kill. Yofi's down. There's no healers for them left. Now the Bok has been mm. dropped as well. So I think that kind of fell to pieces and looked a lot worse than it was. Take there for Giganti. Yeah, it was great. It was great. I also don't really know what Giganti were doing with their rotations. Like, I don't know why they rotated to the opposite side. Why did they rotate over here and then run across the point towards the ash? Why didn't they rotate around the other way? That's I don't know. I don't really know. The at the, at the end of the day, I think the, the key moment there was Danit dying. And if Danit hadn't died, I would have been interested to see how that strat worked. In all in all, get into Why not run Hanzo instead of Ash? Why not run the Hanzo instead of an Ash?
Well, I think the coach gun is really important. The, the shotgun thing that allows you to reposition yourself very quickly and avoid divers and blast them away from you. I think the Hanzo would be too diveable. I also don't really know what the DPS difference is between the two of them. I think it's somewhat similar, but maybe Hanzo has the advantage there. Uh, but I think the key difference is that if you run a Widowmaker or a Hanzo, they're right, more easy to dive. In all in all, the little wall jump thing isn't really enough to be able to get away from okay, the, the, you know, the Winston Goats comp. EMP comes in okay, full EMP. Okay, they're going Bob for a triple DPS defense. Gather. As Team Gigante are just going to have to retreat on this one, but it's not a total loss. They still have 6 minutes and 12 seconds to play with. And see, the, the major problem with Volstein EMP doesn't end in a team wipe, but it does end in a fight win, which is so enough. It's essentially effectively two trokes, very similar. And in those choke points, Hafigo can get a, a but lot what of is going on with this comp? Barrage, so by the time you get to the point, you have that to deal with. Bucket just forcing the backline. Primal rage being used Bucket from him. Gets the transcendence out nice and early, but does now free up Davin. From there. Use the graviton surge. The Use coalescence and keep Davin alive. Nomlock still chasing down, trying to get some extra damage. Facility hacked up. Sparker gets killed with the dynamite, taking out Davin. If he can just compete with him, like when he take out his Zarya, we're out well, to play Zarya uh, himself. He's getting a lot of value here because I think he loses. Let's see, so two they start this fight with and basically zero. With well, actually, they start with thirty percent so EMP. Which is a lot more than so I thought they would have. The point, you have to move through effectively two okay, folks, where is Dan doing all of this? What should the game plan be for Brit for Team Giganti? I mean, Hurricane have got a pharmacy that you really can't contest. So you would normally try and demolish their front line. But they don't really have a front line either. They've just got numlocked. If you're able to pressure numlocked away, what does that really give you access to? Sparker? Sure. I think... The idea here would be to pressure Bokken, get his trance out, and try and find kill on Sparker or Numlock. Because Numlock doesn't really have anyone peeling for him, and he only has limited mobility from the dive or from the jump. So Bokken's trance is used. So now I would back off again. You don't really want to. I, I think Giganti don't really want to be on the point because the pharmacy is going to do a lot of damage to them. And uh, Danid's going to be flanking as well. Both the rest of the hurricane group together in this one. But they're also not down, really putting any pressure on Numlock. I'm not sure who they're, they're shooting at. I don't think they know what to do. I think Giganti are pretty lost like, at this point. We take out his Zarya. We're out having to play Zarya himself. He's getting a lot of value here because I think he loses that matchup. Absolutely. Dan is almost towards another EMP because they made that fight last so long. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about this comp is that you talked about before is that can Davin find an effective gravity target? Do, 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 Specifically, the person you're probably going to see get locked down is numlocked in the front line. Once that big main tank's out of the way, cannot create as much Yeah, I think they should be poking numlocked a lot more. Fall, but EMP is going to be super important. So they try and poke numlocked, but he jumps away. When it does come through. We've got another EMP. Self-destruct gets used, finds Haffy. And then Milky Man dies, which shouldn't really happen. going to send that self-destruct in nice and early. Bomb comes in. Milky Man's gone to the back. But he takes a bit of a right click, then gets discarded, and ends up dying. And it looks like nobody's really paying any attention to Milky Man. I mean, Davin uses his bubble on facility rather than on Milky Man to peel. He's not looking to be able to get an armor pack on him. It's like they have no idea what's happened to Milky Man. It's like Milky Man jumped in and then was like, I don't know, silent in the comms or something. There's, there's literally no peel for their Winston. EMP, they and he, he doesn't get anything done. All important ultimate. And that then the grab. Oh my god. That's terrible from Giganti, honestly. I think they just... Their comms at the moment are probably like, what the fuck comp are they running? What are we, what are we doing? Unless this is something that Hurricane have run before. But Giganti look like they're in total chaos right now. Like I said before... He wanted to find that grab onto Numlock, but Numlock slips away. A bit of a snake there gets out pretty much unscathed. And so, to go back to the beginning of this fight, 
different pawn, so they're probably they pressure Seb away. For that moment when he does come through. You're gonna send that self-destructing nice and early. Look the bomb goes in. If Milky Man doesn't make this jump, and instead they just take position on the point. Now that the fire is dead, if the whole of Giganti were just on the point here, and then they find a solo grav on the Zen or on Numlocked or even on even on the Mercy, <clears throat> even on the Mercy, I think would be fine. But I think a solo grav on on Numlocked or on the the Zen is probably better. If they can find those picks whilst maintaining position on the point, then they just have to watch out for the EMP. But the EMP shouldn't really get much done because they are tanky enough as long as they keep somebody out of the fight. Like, if they can make Lilbo survive, or even if they can make Zuppi and Zappis survive so that they have the defense matrix and some healing to be able to heal the people that are there, there really isn't that much damage from British Hurricane. With the fire dead, anyway. So, they'd be able to take a lot of position on the point if they just played this a little slower. But instead, Milky Man bots in and then the Davin yeets the grav into the back of the room. Presumably trying to find a solo grav on Numlocked without any info. Oh, I mean, I think they were trying to solo grav Numlocked, but Zappis booped him away as well. I've only just noticed. Numlocked didn't leap there. He got booped by Zappis. So I don't, I don't fucking know. No, absolute chaos. But I think the idea here against this comp is to find a solo grab on Numlocked or... Obviously not on Bokken when he has his trance for this kind of stuff. But Numlock slips away, a bit of a snake there, gets out pretty much unscathed. And with that reduced Graviton radius, obviously from a couple of patches ago, it won't catch you if you lob it. You can sustain the EMP biotap because they don't have enough damage to be able to completely fuck you up. They don't have a Zarya. You've already like solo grabbed and killed one of their other players as well. Into a small room like that. Nice hack onto Lilbo gives a lot more time for Numlock to get away with no speed boost afterwards to basically follow up on that. But British Hurricane with four minutes four, they're looking at a lot longer to hold here. But Team Giganti, and they now have that nano boost online, can launch onto Milky Man and you create a bit Okay, so all Giganti have got is a nano and a sound barrier. We've got EMP Barrage to be able to take this, but you wouldn't want to EMP Barrage aggressively, you want to wait until Giganti have come in. A lot of poke onto Milky Man. Milky Man gets in the back. Gets okay, nanoed as well. Okay. So, a lot of poke damage onto Milky Man, but then he takes the nano, goes into the back. Milky Man has distracted both of their supports and Haffy Cool. Haffy barrages. And then just gets the lasered here. down by Davin. Davin and Davin, Davin also and kills the Mercy as well. As well. Now has to move he's got an EMP, but he's have to oh, and the it. EMP and is used? Lilbo escapes the EMP, drops the sound barrier on top, but it was partially unnecessary because Hurricane is still coming out of spawn. And oh, wow. There, but he's all the supports here. This, uh, uh, this barrage is pretty terrible here from Happy Cool. If it's higher up so that Milky Man can't just literally nano tickle him, or if it's further around the corner so that Davin can't laser him down, then he would have easily been able to solo kill Milky Man and walk away from the fight. But by barraging there, he gets both the Farah and the Mercy killed. Disrupt all the supports here. Barrage being committed to take him out. Davin will still find him as he cleaves through. Happy cool and denies the resurrection by shutting down Yofi as well. Danid now has to move around. He's got an EMP, but he's gonna have to commit to it in an unadvantageous position. Lilbo escapes the EMP, drops the sound barrier on top, but it was partially unnecessary because Hurricane is still coming out of spawn. Yeah, don't, don't, don't look at Happy. Don't look at Happy's play. You got one person competing. It's only not to get through. The transcendence coming out as well. They're just looking for the stall game now. They can't retake this point. Yeah, it's just clean up now. Danid. Locks it down for a little short while. And now the yeah. bomb will clear. Any stragglers that try and get into the point. Happy Cool goes down, and that's round one. It's completing. And he will be I think it's a, an interesting defense. I don't think it's the best defense that you could run, though. I mean, the, they managed to cap in three minutes despite looking like they had no fucking idea what they were doing there, Giganti. So. I have a feeling that if you're the better team, like British Hurricane seem to be, in the in the Ryan v Ryan, or the just the Goats v Goats, whatever the whatever the twist on it, that you should be playing that on Volskaya. Yeah, absolutely. 
I think, it's I think creative, but big if you're the more coordinated team, you are probably the better off of the issues that running had on goats. World and Nepal was the fact that sooner is this massively high tempo Zarya. It's just the state of the meta right now. Lobbing out grabs every other second. Right, let's take a look at the beginning of this fight. Sooner is this massively high tempo Zarya. It's very difficult to deal with him when he's yeah. They couldn't have really used the EMP earlier because. They could have used the EMP really aggressive, but you have to combo EMP with Barrage in that um, in that comp. Otherwise, you don't have enough damage to be able to kill everybody unless they're all, literally all grouped up on the point and you still have your fire alive in the air. But um, they only pushed aggressive with Milky Man and Davin. So, I mean, who do you EMP? If you EMP Milky Man, it doesn't make any difference anyway. He's just an anaboosted Winston. All he's going to do is hold down right click, uh, left click anyway. And then Davin, same, pretty much. Lobbing out grabs every other second. So, the Ryan Ryan goats against Winston goats here, which we saw a shit ton in stage one of Al on the same patch. Uh, Milky Man does a lot of damage to them at the beginning, and they choose not to go into this side room. They are aiming to knock these people off the high ground first, but they haven't put any pressure on Milky Man or, I mean, Lobo as well, who disrupts all of their positioning. So, they take a shit ton of damage coming in through this choke point, because I think they're too focused on their overall plan of knocking these guys off the high ground, rather than realizing there's like a middle thing that they Every need to do, second. which is pressuring these people away. So, even though they do pressure them away, they've already taken too much damage, because they tried to force it too quickly. And so, Half he ends up taking a shit ton of damage from Davin, who's on top. And they haven't really displaced anyone from top. But they can just go again. If Giganti were more decisive there, maybe they could have gone aggressive when uh, when the British Hurricane players were low. But that's a bit of a risky strap. So they're just contesting over point A. Milky Man's going to try and get his charge up as much as he can. Dan it very aggressive. Dan it very aggressive. Winston instead they want that mobile composition to move around so I think Dan Ed went for his bash there and missed and still committed usually the pattern that comes out here Nomlock has to contend with Milky Man's Winston instead they want that mobile composition to move around territory should there have been Oh, he got bashed he got counter bashed so he, he missed his bash on Milky Man mobile and then he got bashed by Vizility oh no he didn't he did bash Zappis I guess Zappis tanked the bash instead and then he got counter bashed and killed. All right, fair enough. High ground advantage coming in for Hurricane, but they're going to play it low to the ground. Keep themselves there. Milky Man, he's putting down it so low to the ground. He's six feet under in the dirt right now. And Hurricane. So good work by Vizility, making sure that he's bodyguarding for his Winston. Because the win condition here for Giganti is Milky Man generating his uh, his primal. Going to nearly get that second tick as Half Eagle comes in. Maintain this. Zappa dies. Where was Zappa? Here, built towards that primal raid with the help of the bubble. Contesting the point, they've given up over 50%. Gonna nearly get that. Where is Zuppi? It sounds like Zuppi, like Zuppi was miles out of position, off. but you can't really tell from the sound cues. Zuppi is underneath so here. He's six feet under in the dirt right now. The beginning. Still on the point so does Haffy just see an opportunity to go aggro on him? Where even is Haffy? Keep contesting the point, they've given up over 50%. Gonna nearly. I, I honestly I have no idea where Haffy came from there. Does he go up top? Oh, he flanks. I see. So Haffy's around here. Zuppi's in there. He just waits until the rest of the team comes forward and then he dives him. But uh, he was super weak when he actually did that. So look, he, he's so weak that if Zuppi knew where he was and realized... I think Zuppi would have definitely been able to get a kill on him. But Haffy just finds a, a nice timing to go on to Zuppi. And Zuppi doesn't realize in time. I mean, Haffy's so weak when he goes for that play. He really shouldn't get that, I think. If Zuppi was a bit more aware, he would have been able to demac Haffy call before he got that pick. But Haffy chooses a nice timing, which is when, the re when Giganti are pushing the rest of his team.
Man, spurning multiple members, the kills are gonna come in because he does get demacked in the end. But I feel like only one tick of progress is gonna be they probably shouldn't have been able to get that. Beginning but anyway, teaming anti because now they have some ultimates online to prevent the uh, the next ones coming through, right? British Hurricane Shaw, Sparkle got towards his graviton, Bocket has his transcendence. Who's the best contenders team right now? Don't know. Is the fact that because they're not playing the Winston, they're having difficulty removing that's what I'm trying to find out from this high ground at the moment. Half Eagle tried to do it before, but all he managed to do was knock. Zappis down, and Zappis obviously has boosters, so he just gets back up there again. Mm -hmm. You can expect Team Uganda here to play a little bit slower and try and get as much value out of this Graviton as possible. Spark is going to have one to match what Davin's going to be able to throw in a second. They're so all they're taking control of the low ground. Trying to build up towards the resources and get out to him to this point. He's going to emerge out there. Numb Put a bit of pressure on Milky Man. Oh. He jumps up. Very decisive from Numlock. Instantly there. sees an opportunity. Immediately removes him. Grabs on search being committed out. Very nice. Down. Nowhere to go. He can't abuse the low uh, I don't think they needed to use the grabs here. On the back line, just call that out of camera. Maybe they there. did actually. Up, immediately removes him. Solo grab Milky Man, make sure that he dies. Nowhere to go. He can't abuse the low cooldown on the jump in primal rage. Yeah, I, I don't think that that was a bad play actually. I think he probably did need to invest in ultimate there. Two ultimates made that happen. Sorry, free rally, graviton surge, and earth shatter. Iganti have four in the bank to shut. But utilizing shatter against Winston Ghost team is a very good thing to do. It was max range. Yeah, he was like, uh, this hit. What did Nox say? Numlock immediately capitalized on it. I think that's what I love about this guy is the fact that as soon you as didn't notice open, things, it's hard, Nox. It's hard. I don't have a big brain like you. Frame after facility went down to the ground, Team Aganti just don't have anything else available to them to stop that push. And I really am about that graviton that Sparkle threw out. Yeah. It locks down Milky Man. It stops him from jumping around and creating a lot of havoc. And, and then they're able to kill him shortly afterwards. Now British Hurricane, sure, they have this Diva Bomb, but this next fight is just about removing as much as possible from Gigant. So double bomb comes in. in. Wow. Really nice defensive bomb from Haffy. And the Transcendence is going to come out nice and early, as well as the Sound Barrier from Yofi. I think a lot of that may have been denied there. No shielding came out. They use Trans, but they don't have a front line, so the guys can't go too aggressive from Giganti. They're playing around Sparker pretty well as well. I like how aggressive Danid is in general. I think he gets a lot of value out of his break. I should get the grab. This is another situation where I think they could have played more aggressive into the Graviton. But also, generally just taking this kind of position around False Sky is, uh, tends to be the best. OW underscore podcast, thanks for the host. And completely shut down. One third of the pie being taken already. Looking for the second one. And now they're knocking at the victory's door. They have to go for four stalls. Stagger and buying time. But Hafty calls there to clean them up and make sure they don't get anything done. And Davin Storm on the wrecking ball will be Nice body block by Numlock as well. Despite Look at that. Down short, Davin them up and make sure they don't get anything done. And Davin Numlock just body blocks Milky Man and takes a bubble from Sparker. Shortly, despite... A slightly longer point, a hold. They come in with a more sizable uh, time back for the next attempt. Comes down to Numlock once again. Mm. Um, he's pushed Milky of that. How can you be pushes from here? The people are doing. <laughs> it's like go ahead and zap down and remind him. No, we we know you're there. There's no trickery here. As they emerge through that choke, and they're gonna go in through this slow parachute. Go through the walkway. Numlock will probably try and get some free charge. Okay, there. so they're running this the same comp again. So let's take a look at how much slow is that time race this next. How it's supposed to work. Game. Last time, their major issue. So this is what they set up for last time. I still don't really understand why Zuppe is wrapping below to be able to go this way. Maybe, maybe it's a faster route to be able to heal the tanks when they dive and then drop off. Didn't get the Sombra ultimate on time. Nice that is uh, block from Haffy here. He's going to be much slower at that time of race this next fight. British Hurricane, last time their major issue was that... They know that Milky Man's going to go for this big... Song jump actually i think he hits the fucking pole a major issue is that dana didn't get the sombra ultimate i think he bumps his head on the fucking light but have was going for the intercept on anyway time Manages that to jump him off. Because he just <laughs> manages down. to knock him off. But Sparker finds Lil Bo, so it does still I'm eating pineapple pizza. Sparker has to reposition using the coach gun to keep himself up in the air. And this facility losing a lot of HP with that up. Yeah. Is yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it, right? Like, major issue is that Dana didn't he jumps it. and flicks his head away, even though he's bubbled, so it doesn't really matter. And then he hits a pole. And then Havikul boobs him off. So, a bit of a fail of a 
jump. But also, I... Danit dies again. How does Danit die? Danit didn't get the sombra. Where is Danit? Time. That. It sounds like he's down at the bottom left here. That is unfortunate because you just go down. <laughs> <laughs> but Sparka finds little bow, so it does kill some of the momentum. But it seems like Danit needs to play this first part at yeah. least much more safely. HP with Davin still gonna find numlocked here. So we were talking about fast age uh, takes. We're gonna see more of the same here as Vigantia just cleaning up Hurricane. He didn't get rid of Yofi until now, so Numlock will have the luxury of a second life. But the rest of them just gonna be shut down. Because he's been picked here. first Fox at the beginning of both of these fights. It's probably the worst map for Lilbo to go down first here mm. as well, because once Team Vigantia on the point, they no longer really need that speed boost. Sure, free free is a very slow composition all in all, but mm. once it is set on the point down there, I, I don't think that this is the best composition the that British Hurricane could run for thing, point so A. They don't really need Lilbo in there other than the boobs and the healing, so they're able just to out sustain them. Now they're coming to second point, they can open this one up with coalescers. I think they really struggle if uh, happy call in the sky the if they don't get the EMP. And then it's too risky to play around the EMP like maybe that. Maybe take this because they just have nothing to do with it, but mock it. Okay, they go aggressive, Absolutely. Mookie Man gets killed. In the sky the so they have to, they feel like they have to go aggro on Sparker. Point and maybe take this because Numlock just... goes for a counter um counter jump up on the, the high ground. Zuppi gets hacked, but that doesn't really make much difference. Have nothing to do with it, but mock it. Bucky just popping off. Absolutely, and Zuppi got hacked. And Milky Man gets killed. Get healing all about to help his team. Sparkle will then burn While down. everyone goes aggressive. Dynamite sends Bob onto the point. This is going to be shutting down. Bob's in the corner. Back, put the team on his back as he takes out Numlick. 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 And Bucky going to remove them. But quite quickly, but they have to slow it all down. Yofi's just going to bring him back, and they have So now Giganti have taken some kill any decent Giganti positioning around, okay, spread out positioning. Quickly. But yeah, yeah, Gantier, with Vizility going down and Milky Man uh, they, only just coming back into the fight, they got to they got to retreat. Has the EMP. That's nice. Nice engagement from Numlock with the Primal to be able to isolate a couple of targets. Right now. It's Kill Davin so that he doesn't survive with his uh, his charge. Reset the fight for another 10 seconds. Should Numlock have gone in there? They were already resetting, but like I said, their positioning was already kind of in the fight. I think it's probably worth it to go for the play here, where you reset them for another 10 seconds. There's only a minute and a half left on the clock. You don't really want them to be able to gain ults. And you don't want them to have positioning inside of this choke point because your comp is good at being able to apply pressure as they come through the choke point. Oh, really? Did the hack cancel coalescence? Didn't even notice. And then take point. Oh yeah. And yeah, maybe you're right. take this because they just have nothing to do with mm. it. Mock it. Bucky just popping up. Absolutely. And Zappe got hacked straight. Num that would have applied a lot more pressure to the pharmacy. Potentially I missed that. that. Now, sleep goes around the spark up, but they just wake him up. That's unfortunately okay. could have maybe capitalized on it. <laughs> but now, British Hurricane, there doesn't seem to be too much time remaining now, Trid. The EMP is getting scarier and scarier by the seconds. Axe out Zafe, no risk of sleep. He can't even use the nano boost he's just acquired for himself. Self destruct over the top, does clear some space. But Self destruct. Not much progress being made. As expected, Bob Happy and Yofi hide from. Point, 50 seconds remaining. Milky Man popped the primal rage already. They now have the nano boost. But they are poking Numlock pretty well. It starts getting low. So Still, Seb can't really contest them when they take these the high ground positions. Monkey Man dives in, but he dives instead of diving Bakken. Bro. That's the one. That's the one Javi didn't want us to watch. Instead of Monkey Man diving the backline and trying to force out the transcendence, he dives Sparker. But Sparker can just get away. He just uses the coach gun to get away. So I don't think that's a good plan from from. Uh, from Milky Man, but also this is a throw barrage straight into his face. He's going to end up killing himself, unable to get the damage out. Discord or what place to try and make it work? But now we're not going to get value as the EMP also came in from Danid, not to be much effect anyway. But did the EMP? have to burn him out. Someone else suddenly starts getting low. Still, in the pocket of British Hurricane, they have the EMP barrage combo. Nanabu's getting committed to Winston as expected. So the EMP Davin's up here in Zappers, but instead they barrage are on the back line. Nana boosted, sound barriered, Winston from close range. And Hathcourt might just have to burn him out what? here. He's gonna end up killing himself, unable to get the damage out. This Press Q to die. Make it work. 
but now we're not going to get value as the EMP also came in from Damid, not to be. I think this is. For a team that's so good at goats, it feels like they're forcing these compositions. Anyone who tries to stay up, he might outlast the duration, immediately pulls the trigger when it comes in. Especially because they're making more mistakes with these comps than they are when they play goats. They're just making it more difficult for themselves. And they might have done enough here with the wrecking ball. A couple of seconds remaining. They're going to do it in overtime. Yes, they forced him out. Meaning this is the final yeah, forced for overtime, the I suppose. As long as Hurricane can finish. We're at least one minute in the time bank. If they do that blank, they just win the series now. That because they cannot accept the draw on this map to stay up in the series. No, that's that's super unfortunate, though, for Team Giganti. They were so close mm. to completing it. And that transcends from Bucket arguably just secures. <laughs> like you said, getting yeah, a shoot just goes onto the offense, and it's the same rollout they went with last attempt. <laughs> Sorry, cat on keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Alvin unlocked. Yeah, Team Giganti, they're, they're coming out with Milky Man on the right now instead of the Winston. Decol on for your cat. It looks like they want to hold this one with pretty much vanilla goats. Um, and this is going to be all down to Davin right now. Because if they lose this matchup versus Sparker, who is their hitscan spe specialist, not their Zarya specialist, it, it will be pretty, pretty unfortunate indeed. So now you can see British Hurricane, they're backing up. We don't know if they're going to make some switches. Happy Cool could potentially over to Sombra, but it looks like they are sticking for the time being. Just going to go for a road. All right, default right, right. Hand side. Take the high ground and potentially what happened last time time in this fight to jump over to the hut in the middle. I can't and remember. Take point there. Could be advantageous for them to just have that forward offering base and the safety of the high ground that it just it rewarded to them by their pathing. The point is what they're aiming for here. They don't get on it. They're not going to win anything. Taking it slow for now, and Team Ganty is split around. They're playing around it, and they got the safety of the mega. Taking the high the ground. Gonna Are they going to position their area on the high ground as well? Back there, keep themselves topped up. Dan is Happy on, on an off angle. Top, and he's able to try and keep him off and that attempt to come from a different angle. They drop down. Zarya's playing like close. Boop so on the Milky Man, tries to displace him. Like Discord Orb is placed. No Discord Orb on them. Okay, I think it just went on. Milky Man, he's coming towards his shatter. He has to make a big play. He has to turn Shield pressure is much better. For for British Hurricane. Catch him when they go for the Decent Shatter. Catches three of them. But the Transcendence is either way, keep everyone up. The Grav. The Grav, I feel, should have been the end for for them there. Just came back from being AFK. Did anything happen, guys? No, 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 no. We, uh, we saw your 6k barrage, don't worry. Whiskey Swan, thank you for the three months. But Mil Milky Man, he's coming towards his shaft. British Hurricane are winning this fight. Haffy's doing more work. Spark is playing more aggressive. Numlock's shield is better. Has to turn this around in the series. But that's a nice predictive shatter from Milky Man. It's like a desperation shatter, but it's nicely timed. It's Numlock, Tafical, and Sparker. They trans. Giganti used Transcendence as well uh, to save Milky Man. So now everyone's healthy. But then Gravin, uh, Gravin, Davin grabs, but they're not able to get the kill, the kills. Hmm, this is interesting though. Look at this. So, something I was complaining about with the Korean Contenders teams, and actually a little bit with British Hurricane as well, is that I feel that you can get more aggressive, you can, when you grab like this, and the enemy team's trance is about to run out, or don't, they don't have a trance or whatever, uh, if Davin plays aggressive, into this with Milky Man playing aggressive as well. They should be able to isolate a target and kill them. I, even if they're transcending, even if Bokken has transcendence, if you use your personal bubble or someone else gets a bubble or whatever, you can definitely kill people even though they're inside a, a, a grav um, and the enemy has a Rhine shield or whatever. You just have to play aggressive inside of it. And a lot of the, the Korean contenders, Zarya's were like holding out here, like spamming the shields, which is super weird. Um, and then occasionally we've seen it in this match as well with Tuna, who was playing a little passive at times, but not as bad, but a little. But this time, they have a grab, they want to follow up on it, so Davin tries to get aggressive, and Dan had whip shots him away, so he can't get any damage out. And then he tries to go aggressive again, and then Hafikul boops him away. So they basically negate all potential damage that Davin would be able to do in this grab, where he definitely would have been able to find a kill. Like, Yofi's super weak, and that's before Davin even got in there with the right clicks. 
because they realize that Davin wants to get aggressive and they whip shot him and then boop him away, which I think is super good. Shield will protect them as well. Very nice peel. Team who went down low for Hurricane. They're still struggling to get themselves onto this point. And a Valiant hold. The Shatter. He's just going to The speed boost past Milky Man. So Milky Man. But the stun will make sure the charge does not come out for so Milky Man. But the Shatter. He's just going to punish. That's, yeah. The charge that coming out so for Milky Man. But the stun will make sure the charge does. The charge. And so, the a, hold. A, a weird, hyper aggressive play here point. where. <clears throat> They've got, they've shattered, but it only catches Zuppi. So, so they, they muscle their way past Milky Man, and Milky Man charges, Daned bashes the charge, and they both fall on the floor. Instead of killing Milky Man, and Numlocked, if Numlock just goes aggressive and then they focus on killing Milky Man, that would be one way to win the fight. He shatters, but it only catches Zuppi. Goes for the charge Punished. and gets stunned out of it. So both Rhines have been stunned out of the, the charge. charge out so the um, and they both trade main tanks. Maybe, I think, probably the safer play would be that Milky Man's so far out of position compared to the rest of his team that if Numlock just holds the aggressive line, the rest of his team, like Sparker and, um, and Bocket, should definitely be able to kill Milky Man, who was here. And then you can just push your main tank advantage. But by Numlock trying to get another kill, he, he ended up dying. And now it's, it's not really an even fight. They should still win, but it's more even, it's more clutchable than it perhaps should have been. It's their fight to lose on point A. They're going to go in and hopefully attack point B with close to three minutes on the time bank. For Team Agante, they're looking at not much at the moment, but Spartan doesn't have his ground. When we were looking at Mag yesterday from Runaway, he goes very aggressive. But the rest of his team saves all of their resources to peel for him. British Hurricane are more aggressive as a team, I think. A bit more like, a bit more like Shock than Titans, if you want to put it like that. Though I wouldn't necessarily say that Hurricane play like Shock. At all. But, um... They, they are going forward with everybody, not just with their main tank. And they're not trying to bait you into killing Numlocked and killing you. If anything, they do that a little bit with Haffy. But one of the issues with that is that when Numlocked goes aggressive, he gets punished for it more than when Mag goes aggressive. So Mag had some, like, ridiculously aggressive almost like dumb plays yesterday when i was reviewing their vod but because the whole team is set up around him playing like that they peel for him and they use him as bait and they win the fights based off of it whereas hurricane are playing with their whole team pushing forward and so if numlock steps out of or if numlock goes for aggressive plays that other rhines would get back up on would get backed up on uh, the, the, the rest of the team is already kind of focusing on different stuff. So, see, they're both so I don't think British Hurricane play around Numlocked in the same way that Runaway play around Mag. So, early, so even though I wouldn't even say that Numlocked is more aggressive than Mag, Numlocked gets caught out more than Mag does. But it's like not because Numlocked plays more aggressively or is out of position more, it's that they don't save resources to save him, if that makes sense. For the self destruct so this is the major downfall is that british hurricane are so great at yeah i'm not saying it wasn't a mistake seb but my point is that you still see other rhines make plays like that and because the rest of their team their main job is peeling for their rhine they can still save their rhine like for example i don't know whether you were watching yesterday but we were watching mag just go on like fucking charges out to Timbuktu on King's Row, um, which was, like, mega dumb. 
But because everybody had saved all of their resources to be able to save him, then, uh, then they were still able to save him and, and turn it into a bait play. But I think the timing of the of the misplays is different. Milky Man gets up on you, Kevin, and finds the. Milky Man's had some really nice shatters over the course of this game. Did he get booped to the side? Or did he just hop with the speed boost? I think he just hopped with speed boost. It's a massive shatter. That's his second shatter this series. He got it because I was brig stunned. No, he got, a, he got a really nice shatter on Blizzard World. He got another nice one on... Uh, on the beginning of Volskaya. He's had some nice shatters. And, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. You got Brig Bash. I didn't think you got Brig Bash there because I just assumed the bubble was on you. I guess they burst the bubble off screen. Grayskull, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, the bubble must have just been destroyed instantly. We demanded something more from Milky Man, and he's starting to now just deliver. And he's delivering it at the prime time, maybe yeah. a little bit late, but it's when they need it, that's for sure. So it's three to four currently, one minute 56. Two fights potentially remaining for Two minutes left. Right they need now. to be able to take this. Hurricane, the fact that they won that based off the shatter and Milky Man was able to like still get back up to 80% has helped their so old economy pretty uh, massively. The they got Rally, they got Graf Bomb to be able to defend with. Probably three fights left. Major thing coming in his next fight is Sparker with the grab, but Milky Man, they haven't seen him, he has a shatter. Yeah, he's got another shatter based off of just what happened last fight. He's able to block, drop that down again. He yeets that one in. Time. It that was, was not to be the same outcome as last time, but Giganti still was, uh, had tools in there. Unlock read that one pretty easily. The and then Milky Man's a bit out of position, so Haffy goes for him. Now. Are they going to use Haffy as bait here? Up, not going down just no, yet. not really. Now the okay, in. yeah, kind of. Grav goes in to try and peel for the players as they went aggressive with the self destruct thing. Engage. Both transcendences are popped. And they're gonna go for the shatter in the corner. They have to step forward. Shatter's good. But that shield can't do enough. Shatter's right now. They're gonna commit their rally now. So, Numb locked on an off, off angle and applied a bunch of pressure over to Milky Man. And Zappis hasn't really done much to relieve that pressure. The grav. There can't be any follow-up because the bomb came in. And then they get counter-graved. Both teams trans, but it's a nice charge onto Milky Man and then a shatter as he turns around after it. He pins Milky Man into the corner, then turns around and shatters the rest of the team, relying on the rest of his team to kill Milky Man, which is nice. Very decisive engagement from British Hurricane. But they've done their job, like you say, Yofi. He has a soundbar just in case people try and get back on the point, but it looks like it is the end of this point. It's just at the moment, it's a little bit of stall tactic, so not too much going on. But you think of the overtime, they could potentially. Oh my god, this is. This is I like the focus fire at the end here from them as well. Right it seems pretty well coordinated. In the, the they're not all just focusing like the same say, target. Yofi. But yeah, they're, the they're each covering certain targets. The point, uh, Discord is on the like right person the every time. They focus down on the right people, so Zappis dies, Milky Man dies. They use Just Barrier. The a little bit of Lil Bo's so pushed away. Going on, but Davin comes in. They could potentially... He's pr killed pretty quickly. No, Lil Bo is, comes back. He dies pretty quickly. Right now, I mean, and Numlock continues to hold forward to kill anybody who comes through that time. front place. I mean, at that point, you, you know pretty well coordinated in a fight that could have been become very um, very messy. I guess the objective isn't necessarily to retake. Obviously, if you can, be a fight. That was something that and Runaway weren't doing particularly well. When the fights got messy, the... Yeah. I suppose it's it's much easier when you're in control of the point though as well. Maybe a bit of apples and oranges. Is it your birthday formation? That would expect Josh to read that would require Josh to read chat, that's true. Hi Sideshow, for my birthday I want only one thing. I want to see you beat the demon of hatred first try. I know it's tough, but I'm sure that with the power of friendship and Twitch Prime you can make this happen. It it will happen. It will happen today. It will happen. I believe in myself. Oh fuck, it's 5 p.m. already. I can do it if I believe. And and I'm starting to believe. 
that Winston. Nice early scouting from Dan. Gonna get first, the try. first try. First try, Kappa. Coming at them. Anything, any surprises they might have to adapt to. Demon Vatrid's going down. So it's going down. Slow. They're going to have to do this in one as they change over to a traditional goat. Going to get the first. So what were they running before? Just to see what's coming oh. at them. Oh, okay. So they started with the with the Winston and the Moira, thinking that British Hurricane would be running the, the Sombra ash thing but british Oak have just decided to run default right goats which i think is a wise idea they're gonna have to do this in one as they change over to a traditional goats composition they burn through so they've wasted 30 seconds figuring out they had to wait until 45 seconds to figure out what comp british hurricane were running because they didn't scout they didn't scout with the sombra or anything right no, the offensive they just assumed they knew what was going on they hide at the beginning then they see at 45 seconds what comp they're running 10% also for so, Numlock. They waste 30 Numlock. seconds just Could because be the they didn't scout at the beginning here. Monkey Man. Yofi goes for a boop. This was. This, um. This was what we saw from Edison that I really liked on GC Passan when we were watching them. Was that he wandered through here as Sombra. And just hacked the Lucio that was up here. He just predicted there was a Lucio up there because there often is when teams are holding forward and just hacked him. And they just instantly got the kill on him. Which I thought was really smart. But okay, in this fight itself. Also take a look what happens. Monkey Man's got the got the Discord orb on him. They don't want to trade bubble obviously to cleanse it just yet. So Monkey Man takes a shit ton of damage before the bubbles are traded. Because the, the Discord orb got put on him really early. And they were able to put a bunch of spam on him. And then Yofi comes in behind as well. Get it early, that's big. Vazility gets kind of juggled over there. Nice boot totally the isolated. Gets bashed. Time push Milky Man in, but Vazility's down. My VOD stopped. But, so early but yeah. to keep Davin and Milky Man off, and the ping comes in. That's British another nice one. Is that, uh, in. British Hurricane is that for me again? Is that Danet again? So early to keep or did he just Davin use. And Milky Man off, and the ping comes in. I think that was British a counter pin from Nomad, that's really right. Through Team Giganti, if they can't get any progress here, Black, they just lose the series off of the back of this now. That's a nice British little play by Nomad. They're going to walk away with the series win and maintain their undefeated streak. That's the semi-finals matter more than the finals? It, that's all for no what, between now, Giganti and Angry Titans, you mean? For a little amount of time, but there's no way that Team Giganti are taking this one. Danai gets chunked hugely. There's just not enough people on the point. No I did wish you a happy enough. birthday. What the and fuck are you talking about? Again, happy birthday that's formation. That's what I said at the beginning. They were very unsure of to walk in just because British Hurricane Yeah, this was a regular was season game. In the other room. They were like, whoa, something's going on here. This is a little bit rowdy. You don't want to go in here. And just that time that they wasted doing that led to British Hurricane. There's not enough people on the point. I wasn't Lord watching the game. I just assumed Numlock did one. What did Numlock do? One. Danai the emote on the point or something. Hugely, but there's just not enough people on the point. Numlock's going to finish one up. And I think a lot of this came down to it, Ken. It's that, it's Bren that is trying to review your review. Bren, Bren couldn't review anything. Bren's, Bren cheated like, looking up speedruns so of the Gantti Demon of Hatred. Through, so. And now thinks to mock me. And Team Aganti, although they were tired as the, the best GOATS team of Europe. Bren is reviewing your review. He will confirm if you did or didn't. I did definitely say happy birthday to Formation as soon as he came. As soon as I read the, the thing. All right, so now British Hurricane are attacking with this Ash Farah Sombra comp into the Winston comp of Giganti. I don't think this is very good. Because if Giganti managed to pressure out Danid, um, then he's going to find it difficult to build an EMP until it gets into overtime. And at some point, Giganti can hide, wait, use their resources, and then be able to engage on whoever sure manages to contest, or be able to engage on to Bokken when he comes forward. By taking the map difference, and of course, beating Angry Titans when it comes round, their final opponent of the regular group stage. But they still need to get through Giganti here. There's Milky Man. The, the multiple side, DPS comps work really nicely into the Ryan Goats, but I'm not really convinced they work well into, uh, into the Winston Goats. I haven't said that though. They've, uh, they've fucked this up. Yeah, Giganti, uh, they shouldn't have lost facility at the beginning. 
they weren't patient or disciplined enough. You, you have to deny line of sight until you can all move together as a team. It can do to shut it down. But also a nice shot as from Sparky. Man throws his body at the point for one last valiant stall. Boscar Industries conclusively I think you'd struggle against a better team running this composition. I think you might be able to pull it off, but I think it would be difficult. First round by. Giganti looks so and it's risky as well with only one opportunity because you only get one attempt if you run goats you get two attempts if you or maybe even three with that amount of time in the time back but if you run a heavy dps comp you only get one try which is why i'm not a big fan of doing that Around the corner, they were waiting to effectively jump. Team began okay. the way you clear people out on the so British Hurricane are going to play aggressive like here. British Hurricane are holding that close until now. That yeah, is. it's just going to emerge around the corner. They were waiting to effectively jump. Team began to as they walked around to and get milk from the offy. That and, uh, looked so weird uh, from Numlock. <laughs> almost looked like it was lagging with that Zarya as expected. He's back in the roster. See if he can uh, make sure that Sparker has a full he goes out on the side, took a bit of damage there. On Gibraltar, close out the series, and they're holding again. Playing aggressive with the personal bubble. Milky Man's Milky Man's taking armor packs to keep him alive. Yeah, Numlock can now go aggressive himself. They've bought enough time. Played aggressive with their Zarya to be able to rotate aggression, heal him back up, and then he can go. Danny got shattered, but they can't get past Numlock. Now it's big brain Barton's time. Shadow doesn't really find anything, and he has to hold up his shield. Defensive self destruct from Zappis. So a nice peel in the grab from Giganti. Did a lot of damage to Numlock, who was trying to follow up on it. There was actually a bash that came through from Dana there, but no bomb that came out from Hafikul. Well, they couldn't. They couldn't bomb because Hafi was only at 54 percent, and then. But where is Tuna again? Into the shield of Numlocked, and unfortunately, not going to get anywhere. Now it's big brain bar. If Tuna knows that they're going to grav, he should save his bubble for the grav. It's also weird to sync up a shatter and grav like this. He hits it on the side, and the shield. And um. Also, Tuna. Where, where does Tuna even go? Big brain Barton. Time he hits it on the side. The yeah, he walks backwards. The... He walks backwards away from the grab instead of going aggressive into it. If Tuna has his even his personal up, then he could walk aggressive into the grab and body block for Numlocked a little bit. So that they could try and get a pick. That I think is the kind of situation where. Okay, you may, you probably shouldn't have grabbed, but you're playing so far forwards anyway. Um, but no but you, if you're going to grab, you should play aggressive in the grab. So it's interesting that he decided to hold on to that. Hello, Bren. Perhaps the aim of this is just to hold them for as long as possible on the first point. How do you feel Numlock compares to fusions? I don't really know. I don't know. Um, Perhaps that's a big brain move from Hafikul to hold Numlock looks the good. Bomb for the next fight. Davin, obviously, he's got the Graviton, but Bocket can trance. Um, but it's hard to tell happens. directly head to head like that. Okay, what happens here? So, on this engagement, they have double support to be able to negate uh, Davin's grav. Well, they have the trance. They don't they shouldn't need to use the sound barrier. And they have a bomb of their own. So they get grabbed. They trance it. Milky Man comes around behind. Davin is really playing aggressive in the in the grav with his own personal bubble. He gives bubble to Milky Man as well, and they charge Tuna exactly out of it, and they manage to get the kill. Hafikul replies by throwing his own bomb in, trying to isolate people, because they, they pinned Tuna all the way down there, right? So now they're going to try and find picks of their own. But Numlock goes to the left, while the rest of his team goes to the right, and then they get counter-collapsed upon. So if, they, if they wanted to use this bomb to isolate a target, they probably should have called whether they wanted to go on these guys or these guys earlier. And Numlock charges this way, while the rest of the team goes this way. By the charge of Milky Man cover is amply available for Team Giganti to hide from that self destruct. But British Hurricane, they're trying to run for cover, even with the help of a sound barrier, but it's not working. Team Giganti. 
They're not very happy about losing Volscar and losing the series. They're really giving it to him this time. Yeah, they are. And it only took two minutes to get around here as well as, especially with that very f the large first hole from them. Do you want the to play some Overwatch ranked or do you want to continue gonna review? Review? I'm going to continue doing my VOD review, Brent. He's got Transcendence coming online. I'm going to continue doing VOD review. To allow and give over point I think Numlock and Fusion point B fusions look Sooner pretty similar, right. honestly. Sketch! Thank you. Jam Jam 56 is diamond. Okay, there you go. Wow, well, that's... It's the truth now that it's been said by the donation lady. With that shatter, Milky Man, perhaps we see more Not of Overwatch time yet. I want to watch these thoughts. Really yeah, it's a bit of warm milk rather than ice cold as he just gets locked up there with a stun, pushed in the corner. Just just Milky Man getting juggled around. Tank, but he's gonna get back to under a lot of pressure. He need to fall on as well as the rest of his team. But the momentum of the payload has been stopped and it won't even get through the gate yet to even shut down. So these sight lines are still open to see where the pathing of Giganti is indefinitely. And for free free, obviously, he walks on the floor. So there's only three chokes that they come through. Yeah. And British Hurricane has sight lines of every <laughs> single one of them. <laughs> and even the path in between them as well, which makes it so hard to catch him off guard. And the shatter already shut down. Milky Man. At what point do these doors close? The do you have to be a certain uh, amount of, of uh, distance through the choke? Throws down his own shatter. It's a beautiful okay, that was fucking weird. Okay, so look what happens here. So the grav... Yeah, the, the shadow was poop from Milky Man. It was just... It was pure, like, yeet. It was an absolute yeeted earth shatter. It's just... There was no setup for it. I don't know really what the timing of it was. I just threw it in. Uh, a bit of a waste. So they, they grab this one. It gets... It gets... Uh, tranced. Numlock shatters. But something fucking weird happens. What happens there? Oh, he he shatters the three players, but Milky Man charges him. But for some reason, it like juggles Numlocked up in the air. Yofi must have booped him. So I think Milky Man charged, got booped, and so instead of charging Numlocked, it juggled him. But the charge, the shatter had already hit, so the shatter hits three, but he goes flying into the air, or something like that. Is that what happens? Something weird like that. Sir, throws down his own shatter. It's a beautiful counter. Self-destruct sitting there on the front. They want to go and get the steel back. It's oh. big. Nice bomb, Happy. Take it up. <laughs> it's a beautiful counter. Self-destruct on Sir. Do they need this bomb? Down his own shatter. It's a beautiful counter. Self-destruct sitting there on the front. They want to go and get the steel back. It's oh. big. Nice bomb, Happy. Take it up. More if they had... Giganti, and this payload, I don't know. I mean, they're clearly going for a grab bomb Again, afterwards, it's, but it's, it's kind of like... For sure, can they create so much pressure that... Think about that. As well, so after so they get grabbed here, guard, and the shatter already shut down. Milky Man planting that one again into the shield of Numlocks, and Hurricane having to sit on ultimates until, of course, Davin pulls the trigger on a graviton surge. Throws they know that these players have been shattered. Four players shattered. I don't know. The question is, do you need to grab them, I suppose? Whatever. I mean, you get the fight, you get the fight when it would have been, uh... It would have been more difficult to follow up on that. Of what's ranked after VOD review? I've got another game after this, Brent. I've got a whole other VOD after this that I want to review. Wait, what time is it, though? Five. So I have to be finished by half eight. What time did I start streaming? Three. So I've spent two hours on it so far. Yeah, so I'll probably be done in like another two hours. Sorry, Bren. The waste is Davin's grab. No, Davin's grab was to try and set up the entire play. That's not a waste. Like the, it's the initiator. Do you mean Tsuna's grab? Because maybe Tsuna's grab is a waste. Maybe they should have tried to shatter bomb instead of shatter grab bomb. But I think Tsuna didn't realize that the Shatter had hit so many people. Point, so we'll do this. And also, I'm not sure that you can reliably hit Shatter Bomb combos like that. Milky Man might have been able to block it or something. I'm beating the final boss? Fuck you. No, 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 no. We're playing Sekiro after I finish my, my VOD reviews. 
Don't play, like play me like this, Brennan. Don't play me like this. Okay. Gotta find some uh, kind of uh, edge on the point, so we'll do this. Bomb goes into the back. Isolate Stanard. Flick his shield in time. More concerned about drugs. They catch point, so we'll do this. They're gonna send in that self destruct. They catch off Stanard. He wasn't able to flick his shield. That self destruct. They catch off, so we'll do this. They're gonna send in that self destruct. Edge on the point, so we'll do this. They're gonna send in that self destruct. They catch off Stanard. He wasn't able to flick his shield. in That, so, on the point, so, take a look at this. We'll do this. So, Milky Man goes for a charge. All right, let's 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 set this up to start then. Danit has rallied, uh, but the bomb is placed here. So, these guys, everyone was around this area. These guys curl around this side, but Danit was further forward than, or not further forward, but further, like, over here than the rest of them. So, he's kind of caught out, but he does have a shield. So, if he's able to shield himself he could stay alive but he's surrounded by the rest of the team so he's probably dead either way especially if he shields and his shield just gets broken so instead he goes for the intercept on milky man's charge but that means he's guaranteed to die because he just he gets knocked to the floor along with milky man but then that sets them up to actually charge milky man himself which i think is pretty sick Shield in time, more concerned about getting into cover instead. Sooner will return a kill. But then Seb wanders forward instead of backwards and dies. I'm more concerned about and they should be pulling backwards here, I think. Rather than going aggressive. They should consolidate their position a bit. About getting into cover instead. Especially because the two major sources of damage are over here. Zappas has got a high ground. If they push this way, he's definitely gonna die. <laughs> Dead. This is an overextension by Seb. Sooner will return a kill once Milky Man. Transcendence is coming out nice and early from Zappe. As Numbuck will go down and they'll try and keep Giganti in this fight. Palo being confused. Was he just trying to connect back with dead. other people Sooner on his team? Sooner will return a kill once Milky no. Man. Transcendence is coming out nice and early from Zappe. No, because Yofi and Bocket just go there to go die on the cart to make sure that they uh, keep it contested as they die. Been stuck in this exact same spot, even walk back a little bit. Wow. Finally take the Bren won't live long enough to ever play a Sekiro. What? Uh, I found that door can close. It's probably been wanting to close for quite a while. <laughs> like the, the guy on the telecom is like... Okay, Imagine ignoring Bren's door. review contenders vods, but you're not even around. experiencing the coordination of Runaway. Now it's a big race between Suna and Zuppe. Mm -hmm. Suna's got a good head start here with his Graviton, and Zuppe is desperately looking to get more charge towards Transcendence because this... The weird thing about this game so far, actually, has been that on Volskaya, British Hurricane played a lot of um, off comps. Um, and what was the other map? What was the other one that we saw? Must have been an escort map. Uh, a hybrid map. What was it? Blizzard World. Blizzard World, they played a bunch of Sombra. So we haven't seen too much of their default GOAT stuff yet. And Blizzard World was also super short. And then they played a lot of May in the first one. So Hurricane have played a lot of non-GOATS v GOATS stuff so far. And they play a lot faster than the Korean contenders teams. And also their opponents are a lot better. They're not just making disastrous mistakes all the time. Although they are making some mistakes, obviously. It's difficult to compare the two regions so far, honestly. And obviously that's like a... It seems like an obvious thing to say. You can't really compare without them having any connecting strands but a lot of the time you can tell which region is stronger but it's super hard for runaway because all of the people they play against are pretty terrible Davin pulling that trigger extremely early soon as goes it might be slow and steady for giganti to be able to win through this okay. uh, fight so in this fight, Giganti have got double support up they're going to trans this grab then they're going to try and shatter the shatter doesn't find anything and Zappis eats the counter grab Extremely early soon is gonna have his grab eaten up. Surprisingly, Bucket got pinned, but he was immortal Suna anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. Time to buy extra time for so, British Hurricane should have been able to win this. So, now they Samba are engaged. They Samba are engaged when Milky Man's got a wall at his back as well. Oh, but that's a nice shatter. So, they, they wait until Mickey, Milky Man's pretty far forward, and then they use the, the Samba. So, this is, is this is a Samba engage from. British Hurricane, but it's not, um, but it's not, you don't have to close any distance, the, the distance has already been, been closed, 
Uh, but they, they transcend it, and then Vizility uses Rally, and they get a Bash Shatter combo onto that Hurricane. Finds off to the side so this is nice it. from Team Giganti. <laughs> I think so if Zapis hadn't eaten the Grav, this whole fight there, probably and goes and differently and probably goes the way of the British yeah, Hurricane. A lot of that came down to the... Let's just pay a little bit of attention to what was happening you know with Suna before this goes. It might be slow and steady for Giganti to be able to win through this uh, fight. Oh boy, I love being able to tell what the fuck is happening. I think he, I think Zappis was just holding Defense Matrix up, expecting the counter grab. I don't think it was anything special. I'm not saying that Korea is default like worse than Europe, but I do think that there's a very big difference in that runaway uh, in a tier of their own in Contenders Korea, and. Yeah, Hurricane Giganti and Angry the, Titans are really all in, roughly speaking, the same tier in Contenders the Europe. Hurricane, walk forward, Hurricane are the best of the three, the by the look of it. Um, so and maybe there's a bit there, of a gap between uh, them and the so other two, but it's guard. not a huge gap. The the team, <laughs> they're undefeated, <laughs> but... Um, not, but not it's not really refresh themselves yeah, enormous. Water, but the, 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 the opponents that Runaway's been playing against when I was looking at their VODs were shitting the bed. I don't know where Runaway would be. I still need to watch more of this. So. British Hurricane are going to try and win this just based off one bomb, which I like. The there is that if They're going to play aggressive. We're, we're looking more on they want to stop this momentum, stalled, so they speed boost forward. You, Yofi's taking a high position. Stopped. Grav, uh, sorry, not Grav. Bomb comes in over the top. They, because they've not led with the bomb, they, they're like driving a wedge through the enemy team and forcing them to adjust position as the bomb comes over the top. Whereas a bunch of the contenders teams will throw a bomb and then try and chase the bomb. But if you throw a bomb first, they're not distracted by anything, so they can they can back off all in one direction, or they can back they can back off and you're still trying to catch them. But what I like about British Hurricane when they use Soundbarrier, when they use EMP, when they use the self-destruct, is that they engage slightly before the ult comes through. Like, they're already moving forwards here before the bomb comes through. The bomb is like, the bomb is being launched from back here, and they're already in their face. This is the, this is I think the right way to play. Uh, these kind of engages. Because if you, if you're back here, and you, go away showstopper. If you're back here with your front line when you use this bomb, you have so much distance to cover before it's even useful that you used your bomb. And that's what a bunch of the contenders teams are doing. Do you remember, remember run, uh, Runaway yesterday when they were using their nano boosts when their Rhine was here and the other Rhine was here? And, the, and Mag basically had used up half of his nano before he even got into the enemy team. Same for GC Busan Wave when they were using their EMPs. They would EMP the front line when their front line was only over here. So you can't really get into them in time. But the three or four times throughout, just throughout these last four maps, uh, Hurricane have been aggressive. They, they, the spacing is much better. They're, they're in the enemy's face by the time the enemy are forced to react to something. So much ult charge towards team and even though these players take a lot of damage on the approach, because they're forcing the aggression, uh, they're not going to die because they, everybody on Giganti has to run away from this bomb at some point. Now the question is just, I haven't watched the rest of this fight. Now the question is just, do they pick the right targets to isolate? Or it's not even, do they pick the right targets? Do they all pick uh, the same targets to isolate? The bomb comes through and catches Lilbo. I don't really know where he was. They've bashed Zappis to try and take him out. So the bash and Discord Orb were on Zappis. But the... The Zarya and Ryan have gone on Milky Man, and they've pinned him as well by the look of it. He's doing that spider monkey climbing up the wall, was getting <laughs> caught out there. So Milky Man got completely isolated. Nobody could have helped him. They were able to find that pick. But they went for. Just being the same thing over and over again. Could they have? Could Giganti have done anything about that? He's doing that spider monkey. Still finds Lil's team Giganti. So Lilbo was trying to scooch around that corner and died. I just spotted where he was there. And Milky Man's been caught out massively. Now, 
if they if Giganti realise that they're going for Milky Man and they all collapse on them, would that would that even work? Bob still finds Lil Bo. I'm not sure what he's. They go to do it. They give him Bubble, which is why he doesn't take. Oh no, I guess he counterpins. Doing that, Spider. Does he? I don't know. Monkey climbing up the wall was getting caught out there. By a happy bomb. But yeah, they're just a little too far away. The bomb was just very nicely placed. So I don't think they could really run a collapse play there. Every point, every starting point. British Hurricane take control. Daily reminder that Showstopper stole the show Twitch about prefix like the real Chad. I know, unbelievable. Yeah. I need to go and Showstopper also hasn't streamed in like three years. I need to just buy the show prefix off him. In fact, I'm going to send him a message now. And by send him a message, I don't mean send him a message like a. A dead, uh, fucking horse's head in his, in his thing. What the hell? Why has Steam changed so much? Where's the fucking search bar? Showstopper. All right, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And I'm also going to... Actually, I'm going to leave the window active so that it doesn't... Um... Oh, well. Apparently, he doesn't. Shows it, showstoppers is shows. Unlucky, unlucky. Who has the prefix show? We need to find them and take them out. All right. So that one bomb secured them that fight, which gives them more time to... Will hurt them, will hurt them. So Happy Calls so far coming up huge on the D.Va, not only in the combination... How do you check? I have no idea. In the mid -fight I mean, as well as. fuck knows. We're gonna boot milk man into it would be a nice showdown. Turns out it's favorable. It's ultimate a minute and a half. Of course. I mean, kill them in, in Fortnite. Of course. Take them out in Fortnite, Mongas. In the time right. bank, and it's just being the same thing over and over again at every point, every starting point. British Hurricane take control of the payload. Giganti then have to spend a minute and a half recontesting before they even get it back in motion. Yeah, and, and this this is great though. That one bomb secured them that fight, which gives. So them Giganti now have uh, transgrav so and bomb. So, so see if they take a neutral fight before they use grav bomb. The they grab. They pin. So, Hurricane have done a decent job of negating a bunch of these ultimates. So, let's wind this one back. So, Giganti have got. <coughs> Giganti have got Grav Bomb. Suna's gonna counter Grav. And they also have the Trans. So, the Transcendence gets used. They go for the pin. They should really be trying to boot Milky Man as well as just doing a ton of damage to him. They do a lot of damage. Oh, for fuck's sake. In the combinations, but also in the mid fight as well as. They're going to boot Milky Man into an unfavorable position. Turns out it's favorable as he goes for the charge. Nice lock up there. Stops that from. What even happens there? As well as. They're going to boot Milky Man into an unfavorable position. Turns out. How does he get bashed? Does Dan had just come out of the. Uh... Out of the grav? No, Danid wasn't in the grav. I thought Danid was caught in the grav. Oh, Danid is here. I thought Danid was in the grav. I was like, how the fuck did he bash him when he was over there? So that's another really nice bash from Danid to stop uh, to stop uh, Tuna getting charged all the way out of uh, all the way out of that and dying. So then they go for the counter grav, which is a bit weird actually. I would have. Preferred Hurricane to play slow after this. Oh my god, come on. So he pins sooner. Then it gets a bash, which is really nice. Great, great break play. Then they, then they try and punish. They grab, it gets tranced, and they're looking for a... They're looking for a follow-up, but the Shatter catches Numlocked, Hafikul, and Suna. And even though they've got the rally going... And... A bunch of healing as well. As the self struck goes up, they've already found bomb. They're just caught out in the open for the uh, kill coming in for Zappis. For the bomb. So it's, a, the it's another nice shatter from Milky Man. Much faster than they have done in the past. This is the closing 
goes for the charge. Nice lock up there. Stops that from going through. Shatter to try and shut down. And it was actually at the exact same time as Numlock went for his shatter. There stops that from going through. Numlock is about to shatter, and Milky Man just shatters a little bit before him. Shatter to try and shut and down the momentum, and soon as lying on his Pretty back good. right now, unable to help out as the self struck goes up. They've already found Bocket. in the middle of Twitch.tv slash Koibu seems to have the show emote prefix. Looks like they're hella active. God damn it. God damn it. Much faster than they have done in the past. This is the closing minute of this of this fight of this round for Giganti. And it's a 20 kill streak for Zapis. But look, the payload hasn't hardly even moved around the corner <laughs> as of yet. It's it's insane. Like this aggressive positioning from British Hurricane. I'm, I really dig it because yeah. it prevents so much movement. And despite you, because okay, so now they have fight, to come back out again. Don't gain that much Giganti have got sound barrier and rally. So if they rally into them, put a lot of pressure, and then even use the sound barrier, they should be able to really overwhelm British them. Hurricane and that <laughs> it's just being taken out by Milky Man. He's putting the team on his back now. I think he may have heard us in the first few yeah, minutes of this series, I mean, and now he's we were trying loud. to show. I really How did they get so much push there? The rest of Soon as lying on his back mm. right now, unable to help out as the self struck goes up. They've already found Bocket it's in the middle of multiple members. A double kill coming in for Zappis. They got a bunch of staggers. I think that's the biggest the issue. Rest of Hurricane, much faster than they have done in the past. But this is the closing minute of this of this fight. They get times three and it gets Giganti. all the way into the end. So it's, it's nice pressure the by Team Giganti here. Even move the, the payload went from being halfway to be in oh, one fight yeah, away from completing insane, like, before from hurricane were able to get back I'm, out of the really chunk it because yeah. it prevents so much movement and despite you winning the fight you don't gain that much advantage or control of the payload or the position right now they're trying to position themselves around british hurricane and, and giganti <laughs> get a lot of value out of their uh, team on his back now I think you may have heard us in the first few yeah, minutes of this series. I mean, and now out of their ults there, the, the rally, the, Davin uh, goes aggressive. They still had they still had everything else to be able to use even towards the end. In the staircase as well, <laughs> to try and stop them from <laughs> getting out. Giganti will complete, and I believe they have a little bit left in the time back. But That's pretty sick. Use, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would be great if there were some skins in the game or something that were, uh, you know, if you really skins in the game every time a team won the Overwatch League, that would be nuts. That would be awesome. And it would be an extra revenue source for the teams as well. And I think this is to basically prevent any close holds. Soon is basically going, you get to play my Zarya, I get to play your Ash. That's yeah, how exactly. this feels now. Unlucky he's already spark, taken yeah. out Davin as well. And he's easily okay. Milky wow. Man. No one can get him off the high Soon ground. They're too busy distracted trying to deal with I think Davin this is a really cool set strategy. It seems like British Hurricane's coaching staff have done a lot of put a lot of thought into special crafted strategies to stop yeah, certain things from happening. It's interesting that they're gonna come continue to play this one forward the entire time. Currently is still on the bastion and I think they might just be messing about at this point as well because the 3 0 up. You can make mm. onto the payload, so I don't think this is genuinely this what they do in like the, the finals or something. Like, oh, do you rush do here or take control of the objective? Instead of going to hide in this cover, so it does make it The bastion just doesn't really do that much. Done. He can only pick away people who opt in to the fight. <laughs> and Davin just going to walk rush here or take control of the objective. Danit just kind of posted up here for this sight line and they just rushed him. <laughs> they just destroyed him. It's interesting to deny the forward hold on point A. But again, oops. again, I don't think they're taking it particularly seriously. Like, for example, if you were running this, if you were running this, uh, wait, how, how the fuck have I done this? Alright, there we go. If you're running this composition, and the enemy team wants to hold forward with the goats. But what's the something just hiding there? They're just waiting until the car goes forward. And then they'll just rush you. And then you have to switch your comp. So... I think, I think neither of these teams at this point are really. Uh, so going, you get to play I've got their heads in the game too much. Giganti just go for the forward hold anyway. And then you get this weird fight. The weird thing about this season's 
MVP um, so very, very is that you have one team which has, and the weird thing about Rookie of the Year as well is that you have a team this year that's the best team in the league that plays in the most uh, team-based meta we've ever seen, like the least individual meta that we've ever had. And they're all, they're all rookies and they all play around Bumper. Hey, Bumper's the, the, the team leader and um, plays that kind of wild style, but they all support him. So, I mean, Haxal's the best Brig. He has so much more impact than a lot of other Brigs in the league. So, potentially, a league MVP candidate. But it doesn't have, like, enormous impact, like, game-changing every single match. Do you give it to Bumper because he's the team leader and they play around him and he kind of is their style? Do you give it to Twilight because he's so fantastically talented on flex support? I think, for me, the strongest back. argument at the moment is for Twilight, because he allows their style to flourish so much. I, I'm, I'm not going to watch the rest of this map. <laughs> oh, let's listen to this Haffy Cool interview. Yeah. Yeah, so we grabbed Haffy Cool from Hurricane. Let's listen to this Haffy Cool interview. Haffy Cool, notoriously incredible. How are you feeling after beating notoriously Kikabu? talks a bunch of shit off camera. Yeah, really good. Notoriously Christo, doesn't talk in interviews. Let's listen to this. How do you feel? Yeah, really good. There you go. Pretty good. Really good. From that question, indeed, as indeed, demonstrated. Indeed. Yeah. Um, good question. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Fantastic bombs as well, obviously, as always. But one thing I was curious about, less about your diva this time around, was more about your far. I noticed, especially on Volskaya, you went in and you were specifically using Barrage on uh, Nano Milky Man when he came in there on the Winston. Uh, what's the <laughs> kind of thought process between saving it for that? Uh, it's just to save Buck. Just to like save Buck. If we kill the monkey, then we just win the fight. Oh, okay. okay. Mostly. Fair enough. This kind of easy answer. Genius. Yeah, easy answer. Yeah. Genius. Um, Happy like. We see you, so you play four here. Haffy doesn't, uh, he doesn't enjoy talking more than he has to. If you ask him a question, he'll answer in the least words possible. Why are you doing this? To win the fight. How do you feel? Pretty good. Um, I don't know. I think Farah is going to be super important. So okay. I'll play Farah. Maybe some Tracer. We'll see. Tracer. I'll play Farron, maybe Tracer. Genius. Why do you still bring up that TF2 interview? That was funny as fuck as well. That was funny as fuck. What do you think the biggest threat of Angry Titan is to your team? I, I was chatting shit with Haffy for like an hour before we had this interview once. And then as soon as I turn the camera on, he just, he goes from talking mad shit about everyone to being like, hmm, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> I, I just there's so much there's so much latent uh ability to trash talk in this guy and he just he's uh them inting i think they just int sometimes he stops <laughs> That's a threat to you? he 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 holds himself really. back i want to see <laughs> peak happy call okay <laughs> double the int to level it out i That's like the strategy 